Chapter 1921 1921 The high priest had left, but now, a large group of people had come. They numbered over 500, and they were all nether passage experts. The sight of them shocked everyone present. That was because all those people were wearing the same robes to indicate their status. These 500 nether passage experts were all from one sect, the Huaian sect. These nether passage experts were all wearing the robes of the Huaian sect. Their leader was a thin old man who didn't look special, not having any of the air of an expert. That person smiled and cupped his fists in greeting. Sorry, the past few years, it's been tough to carry on my business. The world's not very safe, so I have no choice but to bring a few more bodyguards. This person spoke very openly and amicably, but for him to have 500 nether passage experts as bodyguards made him look dazzling. How could just anyone look like that? There was no other sect in the world that had such power. It was now apparent to all why Pill Valley would feel fearful of the Huaian sect. This kind of foundation was truly terrifying. The majority of sects only knew that the Huaian sect possessed a bottomless pool of wealth, but they had never imagined that they would be powerful to this extent. Maruian, what do you think you're doing? demanded Yu Ziaoyan. If you use this kind of tone, you'll frighten people. We are just a group of businessmen, so naturally we're here for our business. Seeing a business opportunity and not taking action would make us bad businessmen, replied the elder. This person was the master of the Huaian sect, Maruian, one of the most influential people in the world. Don't talk in circles. If you have something to say, say it directly said Yu Ziaoyan coldly. Haha, <laughs> it seems that the valley master doesn't like talking gently. All right. I'll get straight to the point. The Martial Heaven Alliance is an old client of my Huaian sect. Alliance head Kujianying is someone my Huaian sect depends on for our livelihood. She looks after us, and without her cooperation, I don't even know how many people would go hungry in my Huaian sect. So, when one of our clients is in trouble, it's a business opportunity. There are money investments, but there are also emotional investments. I'm sure someone as wise as the Valley Master knows what I'm talking about, said Maruian. You mean you wish to interfere in this matter? Have you forgotten the Huaian sect's purpose? Demanded Yu Ziaoyan. The Huaian sect was just a business. It could not interfere in personal matters of any sects. That was their core principle. That is why I said that your previous words were a slap in your own face. You said that since the Dark Era was coming. We should be united against outside threats. But I thought that Pill Valley was a neutral power that didn't interfere with the other powers of the continent? Why have you suddenly taken a new attitude, acting like the savior of the world and raising your blade against others? Asked Maruian. It's for the peace of the Martial Heaven continent raged Yu Ziaoyan. Then I'm doing the same. The Martial Heaven Alliance is our largest alliance and the most stable foundation of our world. If this foundation is rocked, the world will definitely be thrown into chaos. If the continent is thrown into chaos at such a time, it will spell disaster for the world. As a member of the Martial Heaven continent, the Huaian sect must carry this burden to support the Martial Heaven Alliance. For ourselves, if the world was thrown into chaos, it would be a huge blow to our business. The losses would be inestimable. So in either case, we have a reason to stand beside the Martial Heaven Alliance. After all, we're different from Pill Valley. Pill Valley's various healing pills, poison dispelling pills, soul nourishing pills, and explosive pills are all used in battle, and at a frightening rate at that. If the war were to start, your Pill Valley might profit immensely, but my Huaian sect would have to tighten its belt. So we have no other choice, said Maruian. Upon hearing those words, everyone's expressions changed when they looked at Yu Ziaoyan. If a battle were to erupt here, the one to benefit the most would really be Pill Valley. On the battlefield, there were sometimes no chances to heal, and so they could only rely on medicinal pills to hold on. Whoever bought more pills would have a greater chance of surviving. When they heard Long Chen say that Yu Ziaoyan was an agent of the original devil race, although his words had some reason, most people didn't really believe it. That was because they all knew that Pill Valley had the legacy of true gods. Yu Ziaoyan wouldn't dare to betray his gods, so there was no chance he would collude with the original devil race. 
However, Maruayan was different. First of all, his status was completely different, and his words possessed greater weight. His words were also more believable, as he was merely pointing out that Pill Valley would profit the most from war, the corrupt path, the ancient races, the Shwen beasts, the ancient family alliance, and all the various large powers began to smell the scent of a scheme. Long Chen had said that there was a scheme, and now Maru Ayan was also pointing out that Pill Valley was the one who would profit from war. That's absolute nonsense. When has my Pill Valley ever done something so shameless? I am doing this entirely because Long Chen colluded with the original devil race to destroy the continent. I had no choice but to stand up, shouted Yu Ziaoyan. His expression changed when he saw various experts casting suspicious glances at him. Long Chen's wedge had been driven in by Maru Ayan's words. Suddenly, the unfettered Alsir from Heavenly Fate Island stepped forward. He is correct. I can testify that Valley Master Yu was doing this for the continent's safety. My Heavenly Fate Island foresaw a hundred years ago that when the Great Era came, a fiend that would be a calamity for the continent would be born. After years of observation, we are now sure that Long Chen is that fiend. Everyone knows about Long Chen's history. He came from some secular empire in the eastern wasteland. Just how many conflicts have arisen because of him? Just how much slaughter has he committed? Just how many people has he killed? Perhaps the rise of an expert requires stepping over the corpses of his enemies. But then have you ever heard of any genius who is surrounded by unending battles and slaughter like Long Chen? Wherever he goes, he brings a calamity with him. Fuck your fucking mother. It was those people who brought it upon themselves. If Long Chen didn't fight back, he would have died to them. Was he supposed to just let them kill him? The old man finally couldn't endure it anymore and cursed the unfettered Alsir. HMPH. You say that they brought it upon themselves? Then why did they all end up going for Long Chen instead of someone else? Isn't it precisely because Long Chen is fated to be this world's most wicked person? He creates conflicts with everyone. I guarantee that the world will never know peace while he is alive. He is the worst culprit in the current Martial Heaven Alliance's chaos, said the unfettered Alsir. You fucking the old man suddenly charged forward with the heaven-splitting blade. But Kujinying, who had long since been prepared, suddenly grabbed onto him tightly. At the same time, other people came forward to grab his neck, legs, and arms. Brother Wu. Calm down, now isn't the time to attack, said the elder holding the old man's neck. They were old acquaintances. Let go of me. What group are you from? I'm going to kill these damn tortoise bastards and turn them into turtle jelly, roared the old man. The tense atmosphere ended up becoming strange when the old man said turtle jelly. It was unexpected that the berserk heaven splitting battle sects master actually had a humorous side. However, Kujinying and the others continued to hold on to him tightly. When the heaven-splitting battle sects people's heads turned hot, they would even dare to attack a god. The unfettered Alsir's expression sank upon being cursed like this. He was about to say something when Maru Ayan suddenly said, Fighting like this is meaningless. There's also no need for anyone to act like they're confused about the truth. You say that Long Chen is a fiend. You say that he is colluding with the original devil race. You say that he is the Martial Heaven Alliance's calamity, but it is only your side that is saying this. What proof do you have? Do you think you can convict anyone you point at? Perhaps you feel that way because you have the power to do so. In this world, there are conditions to being able to talk reason with someone. A wolf won't talk reason with a rabbit, and a dragon won't talk reason with a lion. The power difference between the two sides is too immense, so there is no need to talk reason. You were willing to start a fight because you felt that you were strong enough. But now that my Huaian sect is supporting the Martial Heaven Alliance, if you still feel that you are strong enough, then there's no need to waste any more words. You can begin this war right now. In any case, we're equally matched. So both sides will bleed. Then when the Dark Era comes, we can all be annihilated together and that will be the end. That's right. Either fuck off or fight. Come. Come shouted the old man immediately. Those on Pill Valley's side retreated, no longer wanting a war. When the war started, they would all suffer, so they could smell a scheme. Moreover, 
Many of them had connections with the Huaian sect. If they offended the Huaian sect, they would definitely have some harsh days ahead of them. Due to various factors, they became hesitant. Although Maruian wasn't a large or imposing figure, standing there, it was like everything was in his control. In comparison to Yu Ziaoyan, he looked more kingly. Chapter 1922 1922 Maruian stood there, calmly looking at Yu Ziaoyan. There were over hundred nether passage experts behind him who didn't make a sound. In truth, the Huaian sect had four assistant sect masters, and it was usually those assistant sect masters that handled things in the outside world. Maruian was someone who many knew the name of but few had ever seen. However, Maruian had personally come here with 500 nether passage experts. That was the greatest display of power that the Huaian sect had shown in all of its history. The most terrifying power in this world wasn't talent. It wasn't magical arts. It wasn't battle skills. It wasn't divine abilities. It was wealth. The Huaian sect's auction houses were spread throughout every corner of this world. After so many years of business, it was unknown just how much wealth they had accumulated. With such wealth, they had to have secretly groomed their own power. The vision of businessmen always had to be looking ahead. They definitely wouldn't have just groomed themselves into being larger and larger sheep to be slaughtered. As long as it had money, even a sheep could become a ruler. It could even employ a pack of wolves as bodyguards. In this world, money wasn't everything. But not having money was doom. No matter how great someone's talent, without money to support it, it would mean nothing. If a genius of painting didn't even have the money to buy a brush, they would naturally be overlooked. Someone mediocre could be raised to a certain level as long as they had a teacher and the wealth to support themselves. The reason the Huaian sect dared to challenge Pill Valley was because they were in control of that terrifying power, wealth. In truth, whether it was Pill Valley or the Huaian sect, there was no way to estimate their wealth or their foundation. So no one was willing to offend them. The Huaian sect and Pill Valley had both expressed their attitudes now. The corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, the blood kill hall, even heavenly fate island, they all hesitated. If they offended the Huaian sect, they wouldn't be able to sell their wares or buy what they needed. However, in comparison to the other leaders, the corrupt path's leader, Zi Wentian, was still calm. He hadn't revealed much shock at all. At this time, he suddenly said, Today, to give face to sect master Ma, the corrupt path will retreat from this place. However, Long Chen and his dragon blood legion must be slain by the corrupt path. So I hope you can give me an answer. Upon hearing this, everyone's expression changed. Zi Wentian was actually the first to compromise. However, Maruian wasn't surprised at all. He knew that if a battle were to start here, even if the Martial Heaven Alliance was destroyed, it would only be a third of its sum. There was still another two-thirds of the righteous path that had not joined. They would ally themselves with Pill Valley, and Pill Valley would try to mediate things between the righteous path and the corrupt path, making them both take a step back and settle their differences. However, that was impossible. The hatred between the righteous path and the corrupt path could not be mediated. Furthermore, the righteous path was crafty and wily, and they would definitely play tricks. Sooner or later, the corrupt path would end up at a loss. It was better for them to maintain the current fractured state of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Pill Valley would make sure the Martial Heaven Alliance's interior was kept chaotic, while the corrupt path could just watch. To have become the leader of the corrupt path, Zi Wentian was no fool. He knew that if he followed along with Pill Valley's plan, the only one to benefit in the end was Pill Valley. The other powers would become Pill Valley's subordinates. No one wanted to be used by others, and this current state of the board had already been very profitable to the corrupt path. Pulling out here was perfect timing, and he even had a perfect excuse by saying he was giving the Huaian sect face. The battle between the righteous path and the corrupt path has been going on for many years. The hatred that has been built up can't be resolved by anyone. As the Huaian sect is just a business, we won't bother with such things. We just want the Martial Heaven continent to maintain at least a peaceful appearance on the surface. That will allow us to make enough money to feed ourselves. I, Maruian, 
will represent the Huaian sect and its millions of disciples in thanking you, said Maruian. The Huaian sect's people were all businessmen at their core. As long as they were facing their clients, the former would view the latter as their livelihood and wouldn't treat them with the slightest arrogance or airs. It was precisely because the Huaian sect was so polite that many people had assumed that their power wasn't very great, but now their opinions had completely changed. The 500 experts that Maruian had brought weren't just to support the Martial Heaven Alliance, but they were also a show of power. They were warning those eyeing the Huaian sect, seeing that the Huaian sect didn't care if the corrupt path continued to hunt Long Chen. Zi Wentian cupped his fists, saying goodbye to Yu Ziaoyan. He turned and left. Over 200 Nether Passage experts of the corrupt path also left with him. Yu Ziaoyan's expression was a bit dark. He had already guessed what Zi Wentian was thinking. The current state of affairs was most beneficial to Zi Wentian so he wanted to maintain it. That's fine. Now that things have reached this point, we've already won. There's no way that Long Chen and his Dragonblood Legion will be able to escape the net we have established. Forcing things at this point clearly isn't wise. The unfettered Alsir sent a message to Yu Ziaoyan. The High Priest and Maru Ayan's arrival had caused the board to change. The majority of these people's anger had faded to be replaced with calm heads. So both of them had lost their chance to use that anger to start a war. Despite that, they had still won. Once the Dragonblood Legion and Long Chen were eliminated, the Martial Heaven Alliance would be nothing to fear. Without so many genius disciples, it would only be a few years before they declined. Don't forget, they have tens of thousands of people that participated in the life and death tides comprehension. Even if we kill Long Chen, they will still be a threat once they grow up replied Yu Ziaoyan. There's no need to worry. Apply pressure from the outside and buy them from the inside bit by bit. If they can't be bought, isn't the blood kill hall right there? Those talented disciples can disappear one by one, and once the pressure is great enough, they will naturally submit, said the unfettered Alsir indifferently. Yu Ziaoyan nodded, turning to Maruian and Kujinying. He said, since that's the case, let's make an agreement. Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion have colluded with the original devil race to slaughter the disciples of the various powers. They are enemies of the entire continent and must be eliminated. We will hunt them down, and no one is allowed to block us, or they will also be viewed as enemies. The other experts that Yu Ziaoyan had brought nodded. They had lost far too many disciples this time. They had to do something, or their morale would crumble. Fuck off. My heaven-splitting battle sect doesn't agree. You want to bully my children? Then you'll have to step over my corpse first, shouted the old man. Calm down. This is just a stopgap. We have to first ensure that this battle doesn't occur. Li Xiangxuan hastily sent a message to him. They had to first agree to this. Once this army left, there were still many ways that they could protect Long Chen. That's also unacceptable. I'm not going to let the children be wronged like this, shouted the old man. Li Xiangxuan sighed. The heaven-splitting battle sect's people were as difficult to talk to as ever. Useless cowards. What are you afraid of? You might be afraid, but I'm not. The old man suddenly pointed the heaven-splitting blade at Yu Ziaoyan. I, Wu Guangguan, declare that as long as I have breath in my body, no one should even think about bullying my children. After saying that, the old man left. It was unknown if he was going to find Long Chen or if he simply didn't want to keep talking to others here. If he was threatening an ordinary sect, they definitely wouldn't dare to target Long Chen. However, Yu Ziaoyan and the others could not be threatened. Although the old man was powerful, he wasn't smart enough. A good trap could easily kill him. Their main goal was still Long Chen. What do we do? Ku Jinying surprisingly sent Li Xiangxuan a question. Li Xiangxuan had always been wise, so Ku Jinying wanted to hear his opinion. After all, Long Chen was a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Agree to their request. Expel Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion from the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Li Xiangxuan without hesitation. How am I supposed to do that? It's completely unfair to Long Chen. Raged Ku Jinying. Has your anger clouded your judgment? Weren't you the one who said it was a stopgap? 
Today he is expelled, and tomorrow he can rejoin, said Li Xiangxuan. Why did these seniors of his not know how to think in a roundabout manner? But they will. Don't worry, no one can kill Long Chen, guaranteed Li Xiangxuan. However, inside, he was definitely worried. A heaven to fire wouldn't die to the hands of a human because they never had that chance. But the people beside Long Chen weren't heaven to fires. If Long Chen would rather die with his dragon blood legion, then he would be killing himself. The reason those heaven defiers of history never died to other people's hands was because they were always lonely, isolated figures with nothing tying them down. But Long Chen was different, and his weakness was apparent. However, if they did not accept this condition, this matter would not be left like this. If they did start fighting, they would be going along with Yu Ziaoyan's plan. Hu Jinying bitterly smiled. The old man would probably hate her for this, but she was the only one who could play the bad person in this case. I hereby announce that Long Chen and the Dragonblood Legion are no longer disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance, said Hu Jinying. She felt her own head spinning and her heart dripping blood. Long Chen had already done so much for the Martial Heaven Alliance, and she was actually forcing Long Chen to carry this burden on his own. She herself felt despicable. Yu Ziaoyan was surprised that Hu Jinying would do this. That didn't match her character. Suddenly glancing at Li Xiangxuan, he understood. Unacceptable. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is a righteous and loyal hero. He and his Dragonblood Legion protected us without caring about their own lives. Alliance head. How can we expel them? That is completely unfair. The disciples that had come out of the yin yang world immediately went crazy. Chapter 1923. 1923 Ku Jinying's announcement immediately made the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples erupt into chaos. They could not accept this. Alliance head. You can't do this. Senior apprentice brother is the pillar of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. In the battles against the corrupt path, just how many of their top experts did he kill? Don't you think doing so would hurt senior apprentice brother Long Chen? Shouted a short but thick man. In particular, his legs were especially thick. This person was the third commander, who had once challenged Long Chen, but had ended up being won over by him. He was the first to oppose Ku Jinying's decision to expel Long Chen. Alliance head, senior apprentice brother Long Chen led us through a death trap. We might be pressured by powerful enemies, but even if we die, we can't succumb to their threats, said the fourth commander. Silence. The Alliance head's decisions cannot be changed by you, shouted one of the elders of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The disciples were infuriated, but Yi Lingxin held them back. We have to respect the Alliance head's decisions. Senior apprentice sister Lingxin, you. Now, even King King was disappointed. They were infuriated, but they could only suppress their feelings. They weren't strong enough and weren't qualified to participate in such a heavy decision. Are you satisfied now? Hu Jinying glared daggers at Yu Ziaoyan. She knew that what Yu Ziaoyan wanted was this promise. This way, Long Chen would have nowhere to go. They could hunt him down to the ends of the world. Originally, she couldn't force herself to make this decision, but Li Xiangxuan pushed her to do it. That was the only way to resolve the current situation. However, this was sacrificing Long Chen. If you had known this would happen, would you have still acted so willfully from the start? If you hadn't selfishly tried to protect Long Chen, you wouldn't have to suffer today and there wouldn't be so many geniuses that died such miserable deaths. That's all the consequences of your own actions. Yu Ziaoyan shook his head, sighing. Yu Ziaoyan, having gotten what he wanted, he actually pushed the responsibility onto others. Hu Jinying unsheathed her sword and pointed it at Yu Ziaoyan, longing to cut him into a million pieces. This person was too sinister, too shameless. Valley Master Yu. It's still too early to say who is right and who is wrong. In this world, the truth cannot become false, and the false cannot turn true. Even if you can cover it up for a while, the truth will be exposed sooner or later. When that time comes, whose name goes down in history for infamy or fame will be decided, said Li Xiangxuan with a polite smile. Although amongst these higher-ups, Li Xiangxuan was just a junior, he possessed a natural calm to him. His intelligence made others not dare to look down on him. 
Although his words were rather ambiguous, everyone present could tell that he was indicating that slandering Long Chen would only work for a while. The truth would come out sooner or later. It was well said. There was no proof that Long Chen had betrayed the Martial Heaven continent and colluded with the original Devil Race. Pill Valley was merely using power to force that reality. They didn't give Long Chen any chance to explain. In order to avoid having the entire world destroyed, the Martial Heaven Alliance had submitted. But when the truth revealed itself, the Martial Heaven Alliance would have the power to wash away that disgrace. This was all in preparation for that moment. I've long since heard that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was led by a wise young leader. As expected, he's not ordinary. Maruayan looked at Li Xiangxuan with a smile. That's correct. Regretfully, he's not part of our Huayan sect. Otherwise, we would be able to suppress Pill Valley in less than 10 years, said an elder standing beside Maruayan. This elder was one of the Huayan sect's four assistant sect masters, Hua Mingxiang. He was also Zheng Wenlong's direct superior. However, Wenlong is good as well. He shows promise and is quite daring while having a good head and heart. However, he's still too young and needs more tempering. Give him some more authority in the future. Don't stifle his development, said Maruayan. Yes, Hua Mingxiang smiled. Maruayan rarely paid attention to the matters within the Huayan sect these days. Although there were four vice sect masters, the other three were in charge of their own businesses, while he, Hua Mingxiang, oversaw the overall development of the Huayan sect. Many people had come to think that he was the true leader of the Huayan sect. Hua Mingxiang was very fond of Zheng Wenlong and treated him like his own apprentice. Hearing that Maru Ayan also had such a high opinion of Zheng Wenlong, he was delighted. True gold isn't afraid of being tempered by fire. My Pill Valley is simply trying to protect the Martial Heaven continent. We're not afraid of being criticized or cursed for our actions, said Yu Ziaoyan righteously. However, he didn't bring up anything about Long Chen's innocence. He merely stated Pill Valley's attitude. In other words, it didn't matter whether or not Long Chen had colluded with the original Devil Race. As long as there was a threat to the Martial Heaven continent, he would rather slay a thousand innocents than let off one criminal. Even if they killed the wrong person, they were still doing it with the Martial Heaven continent at heart. They had a noble reason, so the people would understand them. Then let's wait and see. I think that time will prove everything. Li Xiangxuan smiled slightly despite Yu Ziaoyan's shameless quibbling. Let's wait and see. Yu Ziaoyan snorted, waving his hand and bringing his people away. The other leaders first said some words to Hua Mingxiang before taking their leave as well. After all, they weren't Pill Valley, and there were many areas where they needed the Huayan sect's cooperation. Since a fight hadn't started, they could continue that cooperation. Maruayan rarely showed himself. But Hua Mingxiang was someone that many of them knew. The various experts began to leave one by one. In the end, Clearwind City returned to calm. Due to the protection of the Nether Passage experts, the battle in the sky hadn't affected the city. The old man and Yu Ziaoyan's most powerful exchange had been stopped by the high priest. So Clearwind City wasn't damaged. The experts that had fled from Clearwind City slowly returned. Many thanks for your assistance. Sect Master Ma. Only now did Ku Jianying have a chance to express her thanks toward Maru Ayan. If it weren't for him, with such a power disparity, Yu Ziaoyan wouldn't have let go of this chance to deal a heavy blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance. Alliance Head Ku, you're too courteous. Businessmen like us are most afraid of war. If there was a war, we'd have to beg just to survive. So you shouldn't thank me, but thank yourselves. If you really want to thank me, then buy a bit more so I can make a bit more money. Maru Ayan smiled. I will remember this favor, promised Ku Jianying. Then I still have things to do, so I'll take my leave. Everyone, I hope you can remember this small shop owner when conducting your business in the future. Maru Ayan laughed and brought his 500 Nether Passage experts away. Once everyone else had scattered, the Nether Passage experts of the Martial Heaven Alliance gathered in the Martial Heaven Palace. Ku Jianying expressed her thanks to these people that had come at such a time. Only at this time was it possible to see who was truly dependable. Sect Master Li, don't you feel like what we've done is letting down Long Chen? Once everyone was seated, 
Hu Jinying turned to Li Xiangxuan. There was no other choice. As one grows stronger, so does one's responsibilities. However, I believe that Long Chen will definitely understand and that he is capable of carrying this burden, said Li Xiangxuan. Then what should we do now? Send people to protect Long Chen secretly, asked Hu Jinying. No, it's already too late for that. Based on Yu Ziaoyan and the unfettered Alsir's past schemes, they wouldn't have come unprepared. Li Xiangxuan shook his head. That startled everyone. Then do you mean? Li Xiangxuan sighed. First of all, the time at which Yu Ziaoyan came to the Martial Heaven Alliance is off. They arrived half an incense stick's worth of time later than I expected. They had definitely made some arrangements within that time. Long Chen's escape should be within their expectations. So running actually puts Long Chen in their trap. What? Then why did you make him run? Demanded Hu Jinying. If Long Chen didn't go, then even with the high priest's warning and sect master Ma's reinforcements, there would have been no way to avoid this war. The truth is, while one of their goals is to kill Long Chen, their main goal was to instigate this war. If that happened, the Martial Heaven Alliance would be ruined, and the stragglers wouldn't have the power to threaten Pill Valley. If that war had started, then no matter who won, both sides would take heavy losses. However, our losses would definitely be greater, because we have only gathered a third of the Martial Heaven Alliance. If our members shrink any more, those righteous sects still watching from the sidelines will immediately lean toward Pill Valley. Our power cannot defeat the sum of the corrupt path. Ancient races, ancient family alliance, Xuan beasts, and the Blood Kill Hall. Even if everyone lost half their people, it isn't something we could endure. That's also why Yu Ziaoyan wanted this battle so badly. So as long as we fought, no matter the result, we would still lose. The only one capable of stopping that worst case scenario was Long Chen, said Li Xiangxuan. But Long Chen is just a soul transformation disciple. The ones hunting him down are all Nether Passage experts. Just how is he supposed to do anything? Demanded others. That's another thing I don't know, but I believe that the fact that Long Chen could reach his current height is no coincidence. I trust him, said Li Xiangxuan. That's no good. I'm not going to let a child carry this burden while we sit here like a tortoise. We'll just have to change our appearance and cover up our identities. Quite a few Nether Passage experts immediately stood up. They felt that this was too unjust for Long Chen. It's already too late. The moment Long Chen left Clearwind City, he entered their trap. Right now, the fate of the Martial Heaven Continent is in his hands. As for us, the only thing we can do, is wait for news from Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan muttered as he looked in the direction where Long Chen had run. Chapter 1924 1924 The cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow pierced through space rapidly. Long Chen, where are we going? Asked Meng Chi. Just go straight toward the Eastern Sea. Meng Chi, it'll be hard on you, but maintain your spiritual senses. If you sense any powerful auras, immediately avoid them. Long Chen's expression was grave. What is the matter? Asked Mo Nian. Have you forgotten? The main conspirators behind this scheme are Pill Valley and Heavenly Fate Island. Considering their characters, how could they let us run? We'll definitely run into obstructions on our way. So everyone should be prepared, said Long Chen. Fuck, no way. I just started being a good person, and I'm getting hunted down for it? I was able to get around when it was just me, but as soon as I go with you, I end up like this, cursed Mo Nian. He thought about how free he had been by himself. Now that he was fighting for the Martial Heaven Alliance, the Martial Heaven Alliance actually couldn't protect him. Long Chen smiled. Don't be resentful. As my brother, if I don't con you, who else am I going to con? Ah, that's true. Hearing this, the curious thing was that Mo Nian actually smiled. But there's one thing I don't understand. Why aren't you angry? Why would I be angry? I'm grateful for what I have. I'm a disciple of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Without the Zhuanshan Dao sect, I wouldn't have my current achievements. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect is also my sect. And without the old man's care, I might have long since died. Hu Jinying is the old man's partner, and she cares so much about me she is willing to become enemies with the various powers of the world. In truth, 
Although this war had been brewing for a long time thanks to certain people's schemes, if it weren't for me, Senior Ku Jianying wouldn't be forced into such a passive position. As men, if we dare to cause trouble, we have to accept the consequences. We can't retreat from this, nor can we blame God or others said Long Chen righteously. Stop, stop, if you keep talking, I look like a petty little person who forgets favors in comparison. I admit that you're right, okay. Mo Nian waved his hand in front of Long Chen. In terms of eloquence, he couldn't compare to Long Chen. His conning ability was truly spectacular. Suddenly, Cloud's body turned. Everyone shook, almost falling. It's as you said, Long Chen. There are experts trying to block us. I had Cloud avoid them, said Men Chi who was standing atop Cloud's head. Her expression grave. What level are they? Asked Mo Nian. I'm not sure. As soon as I sensed them, I had Cloud avoid them, without thinking about it. Since they were sent to stop us, they have to be nether passage experts, said Long Chen. Suddenly, Cloud began turning rapidly through the air. Men Qi's expression changed. Not good. The path ahead has been fully blocked. There's three people ahead, and we have to charge past one of them. You pick one, said Long Chen. Curious. How did they know where we'd run? Asked Mo Nian, you're underestimating Heavenly Fate Island too much, for their island master to even personally come out, even if we have divine items protecting us, they should still be able to read some slight clues, if they didn't have that little bit of power, Heavenly Fate Island wouldn't have achieved their current position with just scams, said Long Chen, Zhikyu, Mo Nian, Zifeng, come to the front, prepare your attacks. Whether or not we can charge past is dependent on this strike. Although Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and the others were also very powerful, they weren't sharp enough. If too many people attacked at once, the heavenly Dao energy in the surrounding space would become sparse. Long Chen and Yu Zifen weren't Empyreans, and just Yi Zhikyu and Mo Nian were enough. Any more and it would affect their attack power. Cloud, slow down and prepare yourself. Long Chen took a deep breath. He raised his hand, and a black flame lotus began to condense in his hand. Following that, sacred chanting began to resound through the air. The entire world felt like it had been ignited. Endless flame energy gathered into the flame lotus. The flame lotus had nine petals, and each petal had a black sphere form at the top. As more flame energy was absorbed, runes began to light up along the petals, sending the flame energy to the spheres at the top of the petals. A terrifying aura slowly rose, growing stronger and stronger. The flame lotus also grew until it was gigantic. World Annihilation Flame Lotus. Long Chen suddenly flung the flame lotus through the air. Once he threw it out, Cloud sped up to follow it. The two of them charged through the air. Sacred chanting continued to resound through the air, and the flame lotus only grew larger. Just a moment later, they saw a giant net of twisting black and white energy. At the center of the net was an elder sitting in meditation. He had actually used his life and death energy to lock this space down. There were also nether passage experts to his distant left and right to make sure that no one could get past. When he sensed the flame lotus, the elder's eyes popped upon. With a snort, a blade appeared in his hand. Divine light flashed. Boom. The nine black spheres on the top of the lotus exploded. A terrifying explosion erupted. The elder's arm shook. He was surprised that this flame lotus possessed such explosive power. He was actually knocked back a few steps, and the net behind him trembled. At the same time, Long Chen, Yi Zhikyu, Mo Nian, and Yu Zifeng attacked. Two rays of sword chi, a saber image, and an arrow shot out. Not good. This strike was perfectly timed with the flame lotus. Hence, the elder had no chance to recollect himself. His blade rumbled and divine runes flew out. Boom. His hasty block didn't even have half his true power. He was knocked back, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. It had to be known that this combined strike from Long Chen, Mo Nian, Yi Zhikyu, and Yu Zifeng was something that even a nether passage expert couldn't take lightly, let alone receive with just half their power. However, a nether passage expert was still powerful. Although he had been injured, the net behind him didn't break. Cloud, shouted Long Chen. Rune suddenly appeared in Cloud's eyes. Two rays of light shot out, 
striking his net. HMPH, you think you can break my domain? Keep dreaming. The elder was shocked and enraged. To be injured by soul transformation disciples was an insult. Although this injury was nothing to him, it still infuriated him. Seeing Cloud attack his net, which was a condensation of his life and death domain, he snorted. His blade slashed down. However, unexpectedly, when Cloud's attack landed, it formed a ripple that spread to form a giant black hole. Cloud's body entered the ripple and then vanished. The elder's blade landed on thin air. His life and death domain was still present, but Long Chen and the others had already vanished. But, how is that possible the elder was dumbfounded? He suddenly thought of a kind of divine ability that the cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow possessed that could ignore spatial bindings, the heaven-swallowing void breaker. However, the heaven-swallowing void breaker divine ability could only be used by descendants that possessed extremely pure bloodlines. Furthermore, they had to have advanced to the 11th rank first. These two requirements were a must, and yet Cloud had done it at just the 10th rank. Damn it, they got away. At this moment, the two other Nether Passage experts rushed over. The plan had been for the three of them to cooperate. Together, Long Chen and the others stood no chance. However, this flawless plan had actually met with failure. Looking at the direction Long Chen had gone, they didn't know what to do. Do we chase? That's no good. The cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow's speed is number one in the world. Even the golden pen race has to concede defeat in that regard. So there's no way we can catch up. Hurry and report what happened here. Have the higher-ups think of something, said the injured nether passage expert. Sighing, he had no choice but to admit that he had been too careless. Ha ha ha, success. Mo Nian laughed. The other sighed, relaxing. Long Chen, what is it? Men Chi saw that Long Chen wasn't smiling. I keep feeling like something's wrong. Long Chen shook his head. Li Xiang Xuan had told him that no one could calculate anything about him. If others were with him, their fates were linked with his. So Heavenly Fate Island shouldn't be able to calculate anything about Mo Nian or Yi's Hikyu either. Therefore, they shouldn't be able to track their location and direction so easily. Fuck, what is this? Long Chen, you've all been expelled from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Mo Nian suddenly took out a jade plate on his waist. Yes, I know. I discussed it with the Xuan Master before leaving. This is the only way to resolve the current crisis. Long Chen nodded. What the fuck? Haven't you become everyone's target then? Mo Nian was speechless. I'm used to it. We would have left the Zhuanshan Dao sect and the Martial Heaven Alliance sooner or later. Leaving now or later makes no difference, said Long Chen. Men Chi, help me examine everyone spiritually. See if anyone left a spiritual mark on us. However, even after a couple of hours, Men Chi shook her head. She hadn't found anything odd, making Long Chen frown. This kind of result meant that they either weren't tracking them this way, or whoever had done it was at such a supreme level that even Men Chi's spiritual strength was unable to expose them. After hours of flight, Cloud had already crossed the eastern Xuan region and reached the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. Cloud's speed was truly amazing. Boom. Suddenly, the seawater exploded. A giant sea demon charged out, trying to bite Cloud. Chapter 1925. 1925 It was actually a shocking 12th rank sea demon. It had a pair of wings and suddenly flew out of the sea. This strange sea demon's mouth was exceptionally large and filled with sharp teeth. However, it had just flown out when Cloud opened its mouth, and a black light sword pierced through its head. It was killed in one blow. Cloud had refined the blue eye peacock's essence blood, and her divine abilities only grew stronger, to the point where she could one-shot a 12th rank magical beast. Of course, sea demons were not magical beasts. Sea demons without any special bloodline only had average power, compared to 12th rank magical beasts on the land. They were quite a bit weaker. Long Chen waved his hand, collecting the sea demon's corpse and tossing it into the black soil of the primal chaos space. The corpse was rapidly consumed, and life energy spread throughout the primal chaos space. The yin yang immortal grass at the border between the black soil and the yellow soil finally showed some faint signs of recovery. Right now, 
for him to use the seventh form of split the heavens required using the power of the yin-yang immortal grass to bear the impact. The yin-yang immortal grass had helped him out immensely during the previous battle. It had withered in the last fight, and it only recovered the slightest bit from the corpse of a twelfth rank sea demon. There was still quite a distance before it was fully recovered. Not good. We've been surrounded. Meng Qi's expression suddenly changed. What happened? Asked Long Chen. Perhaps you're right. And someone did mark us. There are experts gathering from every direction. There's no way we can escape, said Meng Qi. If there was no mark on them, then there was no way they could so accurately track their position. There were over 20 nether passage experts that had formed an arc ahead of them, completely blocking their path, wanting to avoid them. Meng Qi had then sensed over 10 powerful auras blocking them off at the rear. Every single one of their movements was clearly within the control of their opponents. Long Chen's guess was correct, but unfortunately, Meng Qi's power was limited, and she couldn't find just what mark had been placed on them. Mo Nian, Zhikyu, it's going to be hard on you. Help me stall them. Long Chen suddenly jumped into the sea. Upon jumping into the sea, he immediately saw a tiger wing white shark, a 10th rank sea demon. His spiritual strength stretched out, and he instantly took control of it. He made it swallow him and then swim into the distance. The tiger wing white shark was extremely quick in the water. It quickly shot through the water, and not a moment too soon. The seawater behind him suddenly trembled intensely, and a wall of runes sealed that space. Long Chen had managed to leave in time. Any later and he would have been trapped. Hurry, hurry. Long Chen urged the tiger wing white shark to swim at its highest speed. At the same time, he closed his eyes and tried to sense something. As he shot through the water, the feeling he was trying to sense grew stronger. Very quickly, he saw ripples appear in the water before him. A giant dragon scale was floating at the depths of the sea. The tiger wing white shark didn't dare to get anywhere near that scale. It struggled, actually fighting against Long Chen's control. Its fear toward the dragon scale was making it break out of his control. Long Chen released the tiger wing white shark, and it immediately fled for its life. Long Chen could only swim over with his own power. Once he got closer to the white scale, he felt its terror. This scale was like a sealed volcano. Once it erupted, it could destroy the world. Are you really planning on taking it? That's a true dragon's reverse scale. True dragons are supreme existences amongst the dragon race. Your chances of succeeding with your current power are less than a tenth. And if you fail, you will instantly be blown to bits, said Evil Moon. There's no other choice. You're sealed by the Sovereign Seal and can only use your power through me. Due to my cultivation base, you can't unleash your full power. To save my brothers, this is the only way. Long Chen looked at the dragon scale that was just floating there motionlessly. Without hesitation, he reached out to touch it. His clothes instantly blew apart, and an irresistible pressure crashed down on him. Cracks spread throughout his entire body, and he almost exploded. Long Chen, give up. This is just the first wave. There's no way you can succeed, shouted Evil Moon. No, I will succeed. There is no other way. Long Chen took a deep breath, with a glint of determination in his eyes. He placed his other hand on the dragon scale as well. Long Chen's flesh exploded. Other than his head, his entire body was nothing more than a skeleton. Long Chen, Evil Moon was shocked. This dragon scale was even more terrifying than it had expected. Based on this, Long Chen had no chance of subduing it. Right now, Long Chen was just trying to form a connection with the dragon scale. He hadn't even activated its will yet but he was already on the verge of collapse. To subdue a true dragon's reverse scale required using your own will and fully releasing the true dragon's will. Forcing things like this was simply suicide. Break. Long Chen roared, and the dragon scale suddenly began to blaze with light. A sacred dragon pressure erupted. Cracks covered Long Chen's skeleton. It looked like he would explode at any moment. It's over. Long Chen's definitely dead. Evil Moon sighed. Just how was a soul transformation disciple supposed to endure this kind of power? As the dragon pressure grew stronger, the seafloor cracked and the world shuddered. Just what dragon did this scale come from? How can it be so terrifying as the pressure grew greater? Evil Moon became increasingly shocked. 
Azure dragons were what adult true dragons were called. As for green dragons, they were babies. The difference between the two was like a heavenly chasm. The green dragon's reverse scale fell off naturally, but the azure dragon reverse scale would only mold when the azure dragon went through its tribulation and ascended to a higher level. This dragon scale contained the dragon's will to contend against the heavenly deos. It wouldn't even submit to the heavenly deos. So what could possibly make it submit? However, Long Chen refused to believe this reality, wanting to use his own will to suppress the Azure Dragon's will. The current Long Chen had no idea what was happening around him. In his mental world, heaven and earth were crumbling. A giant Azure Dragon coiled through collapsing space. While Long Chen was floating in the air, looking at it, he had to win. The Azure Dragon in his mind let out a roar, and Long Chen's felt like his soul was about to shatter. He knew he was on the verge of death. Submit. Long Chen also roared. He wasn't aware of this, but at that moment, his skeleton had already shattered. He was left with just his head. Submit. 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 In Long Chen's mental realm, his roar resounded through the air. He was clashing with that supreme dragon might. As he roared, the stars in the sky of his mental world shook, as if each one was resonating with his words. Suddenly, the dragon in his mind vanished. Long Chen's head floated in front of the scale. His eyes closed. The dragon scale slowly floated toward Long Chen's head. Divine light flowed out of it, and the dragon scale actually began to crumble, with sand-like particles falling off of it and merged into Long Chen's head. His skeleton slowly grew back out. It's rebuilding his skeleton. Evil Moon let out a startled cry. The Azure Dragon reverse scale was the most precious part of the Azure Dragon. For Long Chen to be using it to rebuild his skeleton, he would truly be transformed afterward. Evil Moon didn't know what had happened. The Azure Dragon reverse scale was simply disintegrating and merging into Long Chen's body, rebuilding it. His new skeleton was white as jade and sparkled brightly. It possessed a terrifying pressure. When his skeleton was fully rebuilt, the final grain of the dragon scale was used up. However, as the dragon scale vanished, it was replaced with a fist-sized drop of blood. Azure Dragon Essence Blood. That scarlet drop of blood possessed a terrifying aura. It was like the energy within this single drop could destroy the entire world. The essence blood slowly merged into Long Chen's body. His skeleton became covered in tiny runes that looked like small dragons coiling around the bones. Flesh quickly grew out of his bones. Even his organs reappeared. In just a dozen breaths time, his body had recovered and looked like it did before. However, there was a white dragon image in the middle of Long Chen's chest now. It was constantly coiling, and each time it spun around, Long Chen's blood chi would pulse. Damn, he might be unstoppable now, muttered Evil Moon. Just as the Azure Dragon reverse scale completely rebuilt Long Chen's body, within the endless void, a giant eye slowly opened. That eye was larger than the surrounding stars. It looked through the cosmos, eyeing a small speck of dust in the great distance. Too slow. At this rate, you'll be killed before you even grow up. That's not in line with the nine star air. Dot. Long Chen. Come out and fight. Long Chen had just dived into the martial heaven sea ring when an angry row rang out. That voice was very familiar. Suddenly, runes lit up throughout the sky and sea. Over 30 nether passage experts appeared, sealing the surrounding space. This time, they had formed three groups of over 10 people each group forming their own formation and creating three layers. After their previous carelessness, they wouldn't allow Long Chen and the others to escape again. After being surrounded, a figure appeared in front of them, startling them. They all recognized this person. Chapter 1926 1926 Huo Lian. Startled cries rang out. This person was Huo Lian, but he was surrounded by blazing flames, and his aura was completely different. He actually broke through to the life star realm, exclaimed Mo Nian. The current Huo Lian had a starry image on his forehead. He had not just broken through to life star, but his cultivation base had also stabilized at the first heaven stage. He was different from those life star Empyreans in the Yin Yang world. Those life star Empyreans had just gone through their tribulations, and their power hadn't stabilized yet, due to time constraints. They had joined the battle before their cultivation bases stabilized. 
they had been unable to fully unleash the power of the Life Star Realm. But Huo Lian had not just broken through. He had also managed to fully stabilize his cultivation base at the first vestige of Life Star. Long Chen, come out and face your death, roared Huo Lian. His mission in the Yin Yang world had ended in complete failure. Over 2 million disciples had turned into 37 people managing to barely escape with their lives. That couldn't just be described as failure. It was a catastrophic defeat. They had almost been annihilated. He, true immortal Jiaoki, and Zi Luo had even joined hands but had been unable to defeat Long Chen. That was a stain that he would never be able to wash away. Upon returning to the Martial Heaven continent, he had immediately chosen to go through his tribulation. He had already suppressed himself to the peak of the soul transformation realm for a long time. So he had long since possessed the ability to break through. If it hadn't been for the plan with the Yun Yang world, he would have long since broken through. Hence, as soon as it was over, he chose to advance. Due to being suppressed at the peak for so long, he instantly broke through to the first Havenstage. After stabilizing his energy, he immediately charged over here. However, only after he roared did he find that while the entire Dragonblood Legion was here, Long Chen was gone. What's going on? demanded Huo Lian. We're not sure. We don't know when Long Chen left, said one of the elders wearing the Flame Divine Palace's robes. All of them had ugly expressions. Long Chen had actually vanished at some point. If they couldn't kill him, he would become their nightmare. Mo Nian sneered. Fools, your goal was Long Chen? But after getting through the first blockade, Long Chen left. Did you think he was going to just let himself be blocked a second time? HMPH. If Long Chen's run off, then we'll kill you first. There's nowhere for him to run anymore, so he'll be killed sooner or later, said Huo Lian. His flame spear appeared in his hand, blazing with unprecedented divine power. TCH. It seems that Long Chen's beating from last time wasn't enough to cure your illness. Is bragging so satisfying? Tell me, even if we were to stick our necks out for you to cut off, would you dare? Ignoring whether or not you can even kill us, even if we die to you, as long as Long Chen lives, you'll never be able to rest in peace. I understand Long Chen. For a normal person, 10 years isn't too late for revenge. For Long Chen, 20 years of continuous revenge is just the start. It's the kind of vengeance that chills you to the bone. Compared to Long Chen, I'm much more noble. At the very least, I just dig up graves. But Long Chen will make sure you don't have corpses to bury. Perhaps the current Long Chen can't contend against you. But what about your talented disciples? He, they'll be slaughtered to the last. After killing those geniuses, he'll then come for your old heads. I've been friends with Long Chen for many years, and I understand him far too well. Thinking about the results, I'm even a bit excited, said Mo Nian while holding the five element sun hunting bow. The nether passage experts couldn't help feeling a chill. Although Mo Nian's words were only to frighten them, they all knew just who Long Chen was. He was known for his ruthlessness. There was nothing that he didn't dare to do. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains. Just how many geniuses had he slain? Just how many sects had he destroyed? Perhaps even Long Chen himself couldn't keep track of them. If the Dragonblood Legion was destroyed, there would be nothing holding him back. He would become a wild devil and a future calamity for their sects. HMPH. You think you can scare us? As long as we capture you, Long Chen will send himself to us. Huo Lian smiled cruelly. What an idiot. Do you think the Dragonblood Legion's people will go willingly with you? You think we'll let you turn us into hostages? You think the Dragonblood warriors are as cowardly as you? Mo Nian almost sneered. Huo Lian. You're underestimating the Dragonblood Legion too much. Even if we have to kill ourselves, we won't let you capture us alive. In any case, our boss will avenge us. Your sects will all be destroyed. So what do we have to be afraid of? Added Guo Ran. In the face of death, all the Dragonblood warriors were still calm without the slightest fear in their eyes. That calm was hair-raising. The Dragonblood Legion was called the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion and their most frightening aspect was their unity. They were completely unafraid of death. These nether passage experts were finally bearing witness to their terror. 
HMPH. Don't try to act tough. I don't believe there's anyone in this world really unafraid of dying, said Huo Lian disdainfully. There are many things that you don't believe in that are true, said Mo Nian, taking out a strange object. He said, what about this? Do you believe me when I say that no matter what kind of heaven-encompassing net you've laid down, it won't be able to trap me? Mo Nian, the earth-splitting divine shuttle, that object made these nether passage experts' expressions change. The earth-splitting divine shuttle was a supreme life-saving treasure. It was famous on the continent now, and it was basically unstoppable. It was an extremely shameless divine item that would break through any formation they laid down. Even Nether Passage experts couldn't stop it. You want Long Chen, but you can't get him. As for me, if I want to leave, you can't stop me, said Mo Nian indifferently. Your earth-splitting divine shuttle can only fit a maximum of five people. Once you leave, the others will all die. I don't believe you would give yourself such infamy. Although that was what Huo Lian said, his expression changed. The name of the western wretch was not for nothing. Mo Nian spent his days digging up tombs, and despite how many people he had infuriated, despite how many times he had been surrounded, he was still living happily. It was all thanks to the earth-splitting divine shuttle. Although he was infuriated, Huo Lian had no choice but to admit that if Mo Nian wanted to leave, no one could stop him. TCH, you really are an idiot. If Long Chen has left, why would I have to stay? I'll just help him in his revenge in the future. I won't just foolishly die with everyone. In the future, Long Chen will be in charge of killing the living ones, while I'll be in charge of digging up the dead ones. Bringing out your ancestral coffins to bask in the sunlight will be nice too, don't you think? Said Mo Nian. Naturally, corpses were meant to be buried beneath the ground. They weren't supposed to see the sunlight. The corpses could rot, decay and even affect the family's karmic luck. In the past, although Mo Nian had gone gravitating, he hadn't done something like that because that was too cruel. Mo Nian wasn't quite daring enough to do it. He was also afraid of being struck by karma. However, if he was forced to do it, he would. If others played a shameless move, he would play 20. They would see just who was afraid of who. The surrounding experts' expressions darkened, as expected of a wretch. They wanted to kill him right here and now. Any sect or family with such an ancient inheritance would have their own ancestral heroic spirit guarding it. If their corpses were brought out, that would be a grave blow to any sect or family's karmic luck. As for Mo Nian, he could rob whoever's tomb he wanted. The Western Xuan region's ancient family alliance had already suffered immensely. If Mo Nian and Long Chen were to join hands, they would never find any peace in this world. The Nether Passage experts were simply dumbfounded for a while. They had thought that victory was already in their grasp. But now, they couldn't kill them, and they couldn't capture them. They didn't know what to do. HMPH, you might be able to con others, but you can't con me. I refuse to believe it. Even if you all die, we still have ways to force out Long Chen. As for Mo Nian, we'll slaughter your Mo family to the last, sneered Huo Lian. He wouldn't be threatened because Pill Valley had its gods and didn't need the protection of its ancestral heroic spirits. He wasn't afraid of Mo Nian's gravirabing, not giving Mo Nian a chance to speak. Huo Lian's spear suddenly pierced toward Mo Nian. Hold it, shouted Mo Nian suddenly. What? Do you have any final words? Sneered Huo Lian. Mo Nian ignored his mocking, instead saying, How about we have a bet instead? Bet what? asked Huo Lian. You've advanced to the Life Star Realm, while we're all at Soul Transformation. Let's have a challenge. We'll pick out five people from our side to fight you. If you win, we'll go peacefully. We won't resist, and you can use us as hostages. If you lose, I won't ask that you release us. I know that you don't have the authority to do that, so I won't make it hard on you. As long as you kneel down and call me daddy, that will be enough, said Mo Nian. You're courting death. Huo Lian was enraged by this naked slap in the face. He had already advanced to the Life Star Realm, and he no longer viewed Mo Nian and the others as a challenge. Is that supposed to be a yes or a no? Snorted Mo Nian. If you have something to say, then say it. If you have a fart, then fart it. But wailing like a monkey is meaningless. 
Fine. I'll agree. Today, I'll beat you black and blue. Huo Lian angrily swung his spear. A spear image shot toward Mo Nian. Mo Nian hastily blocked with the five element sun hunting bow. With a bang, he was sent flying back, blood flowing from his mouth. He stared in shock at Huo Lian. This was just a random blow from Huo Lian, but it still wasn't something that Mo Nian could block. Huo Lian's manifestation appeared behind him, and two figures were present within it. Flame energy surged toward him. Let's see just who will be calling who daddy. Huo Lian suddenly smashed his spear down along with the surrounding flame energy. This attack caused the void to boom, and even the nether passage experts were startled. Chapter 1927 1927 Huo Lian's manifestation shook. The two statues within it seemed to possess their own life now. His manifestation is just one step from being fully awakened the nether passage experts let out startled cries. The current Huo Lian was truly like a god of fire. There was one extremely strict requirement for fully awakening one's manifestation, and that was to at least have reached the life star realm. After breaking through, Huo Lian's manifestation had increased in power, and the divine might coming out of it even affected these nether passage experts. Not good. This bastard's manifestation is completely crushing what heavenly Tao energy we can absorb, said Mo Nian gravely. Now there wasn't just a cultivation-based difference. Even in terms of manifestation, they were completely crushed. HMPH, one toad after another at the bottom of a well. In front of me, you're just ants. Just by myself, I can crush all of you, declared Huo Lian. His flame spear exploded with light and pierced down toward them. Yi's Hikyu's ice sword unleashed a sky of ice and snow to block this fiery attack. However, the ice and snow instantly vanished in front of Huo Lian's flames. Yi's Hikyu was then forced back nine consecutive steps, her body covered in dense steam. HMPH, do you think this is still the yin yang world? My flame domain can melt all things. Your ice domain can't bear a single blow from me shouted Huo Lian. The two statues behind him suddenly formed hand seals, and flame energy enveloped this space. Yu Zifeng suddenly attacked. There was no pressure from his attack, but his sword chi contained the will of the sword. It tore through the sky, even splitting Huo Lian's flame domain. Oh, Huo Lian was startled. He hadn't thought that anyone's attack would be able to break his manifestation. He raised his spear. Boom. The sword chi shattered but a line of blood flowed out of the corner of Huo Lian's mouth. He was actually injured. Die. Huo Lian was startled and infuriated. Yu Zifeng's attack was too bizarre and was actually able to ignore the power of his domain. With a howl, a giant spear image shot toward Yu Zifeng. A giant arrow smashed into the spear image. However, it exploded upon contact, and the spear image didn't even slow down. What Mo Nian was shocked. His full strength attack was actually unable to shake Huo Lian's attack. The difference was too great. Huo Lian's anger had provoked him into using his full power. Everyone, watch out. Huo Lian's manifestation has greatly reduced the effect of our manifestations. We don't even have 70% of our normal attack power. Men Chi sent a hasty spiritual message to everyone. Huo Lian's attack was about to strike Yu Zifeng and considering that Yu Zifeng's defense was weak, there was no way that he could receive it. A black light sword shot out as Cloud tried to receive the attack. At the same time, willow branches appeared in front of Yu Zifeng, forming a giant shield. Boom. Cloud's attack crumbled, and Lu Ruian's shield exploded. Yu Zifeng slashed his sword, and after going through Mo Nian, Cloud, Lu Ruian, and Yu Zifeng's attacks, Huo Lian's attack finally exploded. However, Yu Zifeng also coughed up blood from the impact, which made the Dragon Blood Warrior's heart sink. If others were injured, they could use Heavenly Tao energy to heal. But Yu Zifeng wasn't an Empyrean or a Celestial and couldn't heal. Being injured could be fatal for him. A group of trash, come at me together, and I'll show you that the world's number one Legion is just a rabble of ants. Huo Lian attacked once more. All the surrounding flame energy was absorbed in an instant by this attack. In the face of this terrifying attack, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and the others were all forced to take action. 
but they were all sent flying. Do you see? This is the power of a life star expert, world energy that controls the heavenly deos. Do you know the difference between us now? Huo Lian laughed mockingly. Bastard, if I also advanced to life star, I'd kill you with a fart. Cursed Mo Nian as he flew back, but he also coughed up a mouthful of blood. Suddenly, all the dragon blood warriors began to shine. They summoned their dragon blood battle armor, and Guo Ran roared. Dragon blood cross slash. However, this terrifying attack containing all their power was shattered by a single swing of Huo Lian's spear. All the dragon blood warriors turned pale as paper. Some of them were even tottering on the verge of collapse. All their energy was actually unable to contend with Huo Lian. Suddenly, one spear image after another shot out at Mo Nian, Yu Zifeng, and the others, once more sending them flying. Heavenly Dragon Flame Net. Huo Lian raised a hand, and a net made of weaving flames captured Yi Hikyu, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wanur. As long as I capture Long Chen's women, I'm not worried about him showing himself. If he doesn't show himself, I don't mind sending him a few green hats. Ha ha ha. Huo Lian had actually condensed the surrounding flame energy into a giant net. He pulled it toward him. The four of them struggled, but it was useless. Yi's Hikia was surrounded by steam as she summoned her ice energy, but she was completely suppressed. Bastard, release my sisters. Lu Ruian and the dragon blood warriors roared, but their attacks landed on a giant flame wall that forced them back. Suddenly, sword light appeared, creating an opening in the barrier. The blood-stained Yu Zifen was flying back, his expression icy. Of them all, only Yu Zifen wasn't suppressed by Huo Lian's manifestation, and he was the only one who could possibly threaten him. Regretfully, he was still too weak. I didn't expect Long Chen to have such a loyal dog. All right, then I'll use your blood as a challenge to Long Chen. Huo Lian pulled the net with one hand, while he threw his flame spear with his other hand. A trail of flame runes followed the flame spear as it flew through the air, igniting the space it passed, let alone a physical body, even a star could be pierced by this spear, Ziffing, everyone let our heart-rending roars, if this attack struck, you Ziffing would definitely die, however, the rapidly flying flame spear suddenly stopped in midair, and the nether passage experts guarding this region jumped in shock, their barrier had actually been broken by somebody, Flames exploded and space twisted. The flame spear was actually unable to advance any further because a large hand had caught its tip. A blood-soaked figure appeared in front of everyone's eyes. That figure looked like a devil god that had crawled out of hell. Boss, the dragon blood warriors cheered. Although the flames blocked their vision, they could sense that familiar aura. Long Chen, those nether passage experts were dumbfounded. Long Chen had actually returned. Charging through their barrier, Long Chen's hand tightly gripped the spear. It trembled intensely, erupting with flames, seeming to try to escape his grasp. However, it couldn't. Although Long Chen's body looked like it was covered in blood, in truth, that blood wasn't flowing outside his body. Instead, it was flowing within. His blood was flowing through him like tiny dragons swimming. The power of his blood chi caused the void to rumble. What terrifying essence blood! exclaimed one of the nether passage experts. He was from the Xuan beasts, and Long Chen's current blood chi terrified him. He couldn't help but tremble and have an urge to flee for his life. As Long Chen's blood flowed within his body, his skin was constantly being torn apart and healing. It was a frightening sight, but it was like his blood chi would explode at any moment and destroy the world. The Azure Dragon Essence blood had rebuilt his body, but it still needed to fully merge with his blood. However, Long Chen couldn't wait any longer, and he had rushed over immediately. Because his body hadn't fully merged with the dragon blood before moving, it was tearing his body apart. Long Chen's arrival also shocked Huo Lian. What was more shocking though was that his divine item was actually completely terrified and wanting him to save it. Suddenly, Long Chen's other hand reached out and grabbed the spear. Then, shockingly, he slammed the spear across his knee. Flames exploded, and a mournful wail resounded through heaven and earth. That terrifying blood-colored spear was actually forcibly broken by Long Chen. Huo Lian suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. As the spear's item spirit was linked to his soul, 
The spear's destruction caused a backlash. Affected by this backlash, the flame net that he had condensed dissipated. Yi Zhikyu, Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wanner regained their freedom. Yi Zhikyu's sword flashed as she prepared an attack. Let me do it. Long Chen's figure flashed, and he appeared in front of Huo Lian, raising a hand and launching a slap. Chapter 1928 1928 Long Chen broke a powerful divine item with his bare hands as soon as he arrived, shocking everyone. Huo Lian's head was still reeling from the backlash when Long Chen's hand slapped him across the face. Huo Lian's head distorted, his bones breaking and his face caving in. The current Long Chen had yet to summon his divine ring nor was he using the dragon blood battle armor. This was just the power of his physical body. The reason he didn't have them out was because he currently couldn't. His body hadn't fully recovered, and using his full power would cause his body to tear itself apart. The life energy in the primal chaos space had been used up, so there was no way that they could heal his injuries. Long Chen's physical body had reached a level that even he couldn't imagine. The Azure Dragon Essence blood was flowing within his body, constantly strengthening it, but as his power grew, his flesh tore apart and healed, tore apart and healed. Even though his body hadn't fully recovered, he felt that with his current strength, he could tear apart heaven and earth with his bare hands. This single slap almost killed Huo Lian. Mo Nian and the others were staring in shock at Long Chen. His power was ferocious. Heavenly Diagram suppresses the cosmos. Huo Lian's manifestation activated, instantly healing his injuries. He let out a shout and a giant divine diagram appeared, so high that it broke through the clouds yet still tore through the sea. It was the Brahma divine diagram. The two statues in Huo Lian's manifestation began to chant. As a result, a ray of light shot out of the Brahma divine diagram at Long Chen. Be suppressed, roared Huo Lian. His divine spear was broken, making his heart drip blood. That spear had accompanied him for a long time and had been nourished by his soul. He had spent a huge amount of time and effort on it. It was a divine item with great potential but had now been broken by Long Chen. As for the Brahma Divine Diagram, although it was even more terrifying, it would always belong to Pill Valley, not him. Evil Moon appeared in Long Chen's hands. Its two dragon marks lit up, and a dragon's cry resounded through the air. An evil murderous aura shot out. He, I can finally fight on a higher level. Evil Moon laughed delightedly. Before, in the Yun Yang world, when Evil Moon had loaned a portion of its energy to Long Chen, it had caused his scales to turn black. That was because Long Chen's own physical body was too weak, making their cooperation difficult. If Evil Moon had gone all out, Long Chen would have been unable to hold out before he could even attack his enemy. However, now that the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale had reforged Long Chen's body, Evil Moon could finally go all out. A black saber image tore into the sky. Behind that saber image was a giant black dragon. As that dragon roared, the saber image grew explosively. It absorbed the dragon image into it before it slashed toward the Brahma Divine Diagram. Boom. The black saber image sliced apart the Brahma Divine Diagram's attack. It also caused the surrounding space to crumble and giant ripples spread in every direction. The clash between Evil Moon and the Brahma Divine Diagram made the barrier sealing this space explode. Those Nether Passage experts' expressions completely changed, and they hastily switched to blocking these shock waves. Huge waves soared out of the sea. The water surged into the sky like it wished to devour the heavens. Impossible. How can he be so powerful? Huo Lian hacked up blood. He had already advanced to the Life Star Realm and was in control of world energy. He could inject his world energy into the Brahma Divine Diagram, and it would allow him to unleash ten times the power. However, he was still unable to defeat Long Chen. Long Chen was also sent flying by the impact. The flesh of his arms became a mangled mess. However, his expression didn't change. Even as he flew back, he once more slashed his saber. As long as Long Chen's physical body was strong enough, Evil Moon could unleash its full power in its sealed state. After absorbing the metal devouring evil dragon's marrow and core, Evil Moon had plenty of energy. A giant saber image flew toward the retreating Huo Lian. The Brahma Divine Diagram automatically went to protect its master, appearing in front of him. However, 
Without Huo Lian's own energy, it was sent flying. The shock waves of that clash caused Huo Lian to cough up more blood, and he tumbled back. Just at this moment, a third saber image came crashing toward him. It had only been a few seconds from the first attack, and even those nether passage experts' expressions changed. Just how was it possible to unleash such ferocious attacks without accumulating any energy? That made no sense. Quick, save him. The nether passage experts charged out, but they were one step too late. Huo Lian's body was spinning through the air as the saber image crashed toward him. A dozen attacks were unleashed at the same time, but it was too late. They couldn't block Long Chen's attack in time. Huo Lian was struck head on by the saber image and instantly exploded. However, as his physical body exploded, divine runes lit up within him. It was like a bright star within him was holding a fist-sized miniature version of him. It was his Yuan spirit, which fled. Long Chen, how dare you destroy my physical body? I'll slaughter your whole family, your whole sect, roared Huo Lian's Yuan spirit as he fled. The destruction of a physical body was not a minor inconvenience. It was half crippling his cultivation base. Even if he found a better physical body to possess, it wouldn't perfectly match his soul. Long Chen snorted and chased after Huo Lian's Yuan spirit. However, Evil Moon said, Don't chase him. Your physical body was just born and is like a baby. Any more and you'll harm your foundation. One more attack and then run. Only then did Long Chen notice that large pieces of his flesh crumbled like tofu. His current appearance was extremely frightening. That was the backlash of his attacks. Taking advantage of while the Nether Passage experts were still shocked. Long Chen raised Evil Moon, split the heavens seven, a giant saber image tore through the sky, slashing down like a river of stars, it fell in Huo Lian's direction, that's the wrong direction Evil Moon roared, it wanted Long Chen to create an opening to run, but he actually attacked Huo Lian, yes, you're right, don't worry and just support me, the saber image crashed down, causing the nether passage experts expressions to change. If this attack struck Huo Lian's Yuan spirit, he would definitely die. Everyone, block it. One of the experts wearing Pill Valley's robes shouted. If Huo Lian died here, that would be a major impact on them. He was the future leader of the Flame Divine Palace. He couldn't be lost. All the Nether Passage experts attacked at the same time, their divine items unleashing rays of light. As a result, a giant net of interweaving attacks appeared in front of Huo Lian. Boom. The saber image collided with their attacks, causing a powerful explosion. Astral winds devoured the sky. It was impossible to see anything. They ran. Huo Lian had been saved. Thanks to their blockade, Huo Lian's Yuan spirit had managed to flee into the Brahma Divine Diagram, and now there was no way that Long Chen could injure him. Just as they relaxed, they realized that Long Chen and the others had vanished. Don't worry. They won't be able to escape. Hurry and report that they got away from us. That expert from Pill Valley snorted. Clearly not very worried. Long Chen. Just wait. I won't let you have an easy death. Roared Huo Lian. He felt like if he didn't roar to vent. He would explode. Long Chen. Are you alright? As Cloud sped away. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian both had a hand on Long Chen's back. Unleashing their life energy to heal him. The current Long Chen didn't have that much flesh left on his body, and there were many places where his bones were sticking out. His frightening appearance distressed his women. Tang Wanner in particular was crying. Don't waste the effort. Long Chen took a deep breath. Chu Yao, Meng Qi, and the others instantly turned pale with fear. Hey, don't look at me like that. I won't die. I just meant that your life energy isn't doing much. So it's fine, said Long Chen hastily. Scoundrel, are you trying to scare us to death? Raged Tang Wanur. She wanted to beat him, but he was covered in wounds. So where was she supposed to hit? Just now, his words had almost made their souls flee from their bodies. Long Chen, you're really a badass. You even managed to beat Huo Lian. All right, I now no longer feel so jealous of your multiple wives and concubines. Praised Mo Nian. The first part of his words was normal but the latter was off. Just who were the wives and who were the concubines? Long Chen glared at him. Mo Nian was definitely trying to con him. Long Chen, 
What do we do now? Where do we run? Asked Meng Chi. It wouldn't matter where we go. Cloud, Chu Yao, Ruian, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Mingyuan, you've all been marked. No matter where we go, we won't be able to escape. Long Chen shook his head. Everyone's expressions changed, especially the people he listed. They didn't even know when someone had marked them. Don't worry, once I recover a bit, I'll use the power of the dragon blood to erase that spiritual mark. Long Chen took a deep breath, a slightly relaxed expression finally appearing on his face. Chapter 1929 1929 Bang! A beautiful white jade table was smashed to bits by the unfettered Alsir. That table had originally had a carving of the Martial Heaven continent on it. There had been a small light spot constantly moving over the Martial Heaven sea ring. But just then, that light spot had suddenly vanished. How could this happen? Roared the unfettered Alsir. He had long since lost the air of a transcendent immortal. His gaze was as sharp as a blade. There were dozens of nether passage experts gathered in this room, and they had been sitting around the table. At this moment, the room was deathly silent. Now isn't the time to get angry. Alert our people who are near the place where Long Chen vanished, and have everyone gather there, said Pill Valley's master, Yu Ziaoyan, who was equally gloomy. It's useless. They have the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. They'll just run. The unfettered Alsir took a deep breath and sighed. Still, sometimes luck is also a kind of power. If Long Chen's luck runs out, perhaps he'll end up running into our people, said Yu Ziaoyan. Although he also knew that this was just a way of comforting themselves and the chances were infinitely close to zero. At this point, even the slightest chance was worth striving for. Yu Ziaoyan announced. Everyone can scatter. Although Long Chen got away this time, there's no need to fear. His weakness is clear. Such a person can fall for countless schemes and isn't worth fearing. He only managed to get away thanks to his luck, but he's been expelled from the Martial Heaven Alliance. So we have countless ways to kill him. Don't be dejected. Pill Valley's promise to you all will be fulfilled. So don't worry. These people came from the various large powers. People like Di Long, Zi Wentian, Zhang Ziyang, Long and Jun Kang had left, leaving behind only a portion of their people to stay here to listen to Yu Ziaoyan's orders. Those experts now rose and said their goodbyes. Once they left, the ones from Pill Valley also retreated leaving behind only Yu Ziaoyan and the unfettered Alsir. What ghost decided to screw us? The Martial Heaven Alliance's karmic luck has clearly reached its end, and Long Chen is clearly the evil star of the Martial Heaven Alliance's destruction. An easy win actually turned into such a state. The unfettered Alsir clenched his teeth, his expression ashen. Perhaps the Martial Heaven Alliance still has a little bit of power left, but that's fine too. Although we took some losses this time, in terms of the big picture, we're still the winner. The Martial Heaven Alliance's destruction is essentially set in stone. Although they still have some sects supporting them and there are signs of resurgence, it's just the final burst of light from the setting sun. It doesn't change that they're on their last legs. Right now, the most important thing is still eliminating Long Chen. He's too strange. Even your heavenly fate island is unable to directly calculate anything about him. He makes me uneasy, said Yu Ziaoyan. He truly is strange. There are only a few existences outside the lines of fate. However, he isn't a good match for any of them. So it's impossible to tell just what kind of existence he is. Now even the four fate princes and the vice island master have died to his hands. We've lost all our face and taken heavy losses. Sighed the unfettered Alsir. Yu Ziaoyan looked at him with a faint smile. There's no need to play this game between us. I know that your four fate princes were just deputies. The true fate princes are still in seclusion in your immortal caves. I would even hazard a guess that their cultivation bases have already broken through to the life star realm. Being exposed. The unfettered Alsir awkwardly smiled. This was one of Heavenly Fate Island's greatest secrets. He hadn't expected Yu Ziaoyan to have such knowledge. Each of the true fate princes had a deputy fate prince. This was a strange custom of heavenly fate island. If the true fate prince became the island master, then their deputy would also become the island master. In fact, the deputy would have even greater authority. 
that was because the true fate princes and true island master essentially never revealed themselves to the continent. They usually didn't step a foot out of Heavenly Fate Island for their whole lives. They were completely dedicated to researching the secrets of the heavens, and they were the true core of Heavenly Fate Island. As for the deputies, other than having to be greatly skilled in the cultivation techniques of Heavenly Fate Island, they also had to handle the business that Heavenly Fate Island had with the outside world. That was so that the true fate princes could focus on their cultivation, while the deputies were in charge of maintaining appearances. Of course, the death of the four deputy fate princes was still a loss of four peak geniuses. It was also a kind of humiliation for Heavenly Fate Island. Be at ease. Our actions are all at the directions of the gods. When their divine blessing descends, your Heavenly Fate Island will definitely enjoy a greater share, promised you Ziaoyan. The unfettered Alsir cupped his fists to express his thanks. The two of them discussed their plans for a couple more hours before the unfettered Alsir left. Once he was gone, Yu Ziaoyan waved his hand, and an image appeared on one of the walls. In the image, there was a woman kneeling devoutly toward two statues. Those two were the gods that Pill Valley worshipped, Lord Brahma and Fallen Daynight. The two statues were standing there. Divine light flowed out of their heads and immersed the woman kneeling before them. Bathed in that holy light, she was noble and majestic. Yu Ziaoyan smiled as he looked at this woman. She was his daughter, Pill Valley's Pill Fairy, Yu Kingsuan. The current Yu Kingsuan was in a strange state. She was bathed in divine light, and divine flames were converging around her. This state was what Pill Valley called being immersed in the divine blessing. Yu Kingsuan was currently receiving the god's blessing. Kingsuan, what will matter in the future isn't talent. Only a god's inheritance can allow someone to rise above others in a great era. Don't disappoint your father. Yu Ziaoyan muttered to himself as he stared at the pill fairy. I heard that the girl from the blood kill hall has also started receiving their divine blessing. But I believe you won't lose out to her. The future will belong to you divine sons and divine daughters. As for Long Chen? He's nothing more than an oddity. So what if we let him bounce around for a few more days? Yu Ziaoyan shook his head disdainfully when he spoke of Long Chen. Although Long Chen had escaped this time. So what? Yu Ziaoyan had already achieved his goal. The Martial Heaven Alliance was fractured, and Ku Jinying had submitted to Pill Valley's threat, expelling Long Chen. Their morale would plummet. Moreover, there were plenty of agents planted within as well. Their foundation would grow more and more unsteady. Hu Jinying's expulsion of Long Chen had caused great dissatisfaction with the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. It was the final seed for the next division of the Martial Heaven Alliance. Although Long Chen hadn't died and they had lost their battle in the Yun Yang world, they were still the ultimate winners. Valley Master, Huo Liyan has returned. One of the elders of Pill Valley walked in. I know what happened. Bring him to the Flame Devil Palace said Yu Ziaoyan. The Flame Devil Palace? Valley Master, you. The elder jumped in shock, thinking that he had misheard. Go. Having lost his physical body, Huo Liyan no longer has much value. Even if he does manage to advance to Nether Passage in the future, he'll be stuck at the second step. Such a figure isn't worth raising. Going to the Flame Devil Palace is his only choice. Either he dies or he manages to condense the flame devil body, gaining a flame spirit body. If he fails, then living would be a waste of resources anyway, said Yu Ziaoyan. That elder was stunned. The flame devil palace was a pool of terrifying flame devils, and it was used to punish traitors. If Pill Valley's experts betrayed them or broke harsh rules, they would be tossed into the flame devil palace to be burned alive. Those people would die, and their souls would be absorbed by the flame devils becoming their nourishment. The flame devils came from another world. They were violent, cruel, and bloodthirsty. They even slaughtered members of their own race. The stronger flame devils in the flame devil palace were comparable to nether passage experts. To make Huo Liyan go there, his chances of survival were abysmal. Once he was inside, there were only two possibilities. He would either be devoured by one of the flame devils, or he would be the one devouring the flame devils. If he could succeed in doing so, he could possess a flame devil body, which would give him a flame spirit body. 
There had been people like Huo Lian who had lost their physical bodies and wanted to condense the flame devil body, but in all of Pill Valley's history, those people had died. The elder had no choice but to leave upon receiving his orders. Yu Ziaoyan once more turned back to the Pill Fairy who was bathed in divine light. A look of great anticipation and expectations appeared on his face. Ha ha ha, we finally managed to escape. Fuck, those bastards are really insidious. We didn't even know when they marked us. Gu Yang and the others all felt much more relaxed after Long Chen unleashed the pressure of his dragon blood on them. They hadn't sensed anything before, but after this cleansing, they suddenly felt much more relaxed. Now, they became certain that someone had marked them. Long Chen was silent for a moment before saying, It was mostly done while you were fighting those peak experts. Mo Nian and I were protected by divine light or powerful flames when fighting, so whatever they used, it wasn't able to stick to us. This mark is very strange. It actually sunk into your blood without you noticing. Even Men Chi was unable to sense it. These bastards, they really come at us with one scheme after another. There's no beating them. They've already made their move for the future right as the battle begins. Guo Ran cursed. Their enemies were too sinister. With many backup plans, they had almost been killed because of this mark. After erasing the mark, Long Chen had Cloud slowed down a bit. After a couple more hours, since there was no more ambush, it meant that they were safe. Suddenly, Mo Nian stood up and announced, Since everyone is safe, it's time for us to part ways. I'm very grateful to all of you for getting me more enemies. I'll be able to conduct even more archaeology in the future. Being able to take revenge while researching archaeology is like hitting two birds with one stone. I'll probably be very busy. Brothers, if you ever need work, come find me. Especially brother Guo Ran and brother Xia Chen. Listen to your big brother. You can achieve huge things. Don't let hesitation bury your talent. Good steel must be used on the edge of a blade. Following Long Chen is definitely a waste of your talents. Remember, if you want wealth and happiness, come dig up an ancient tomb with me, and just one will be enough to make you rich. A small tomb will be enough to support a family. A big tomb will be enough to create a nation. Scram. Stop trying to steal my people. Raged Long Chen. All right. I won't waste time arguing with a petty little man who can't even handle a life and death brother asking for some helpers. Long Chen. Just wait. I'm going to do something so huge that will make you die of envy. Ha ha ha. Mo Nian summoned the earth splitting divine shuttle and instantly vanished from sight. Chapter 1930. 1930 Mo Nian left. Following that, Yi's Hikyu said, Long Chen, it's also time for me to go. Long Chen was startled by that. Tang Wan Er cried out, Big sister, you can't go. We still haven't had a chance to talk. I entered the Yin Yang world under my master's orders to search for the heavenly ice crystal. It's one of the requirements for me to advance to life star flawlessly and awaken my manifestation. I've found the heavenly ice crystal, so I have to return and prepare to break through. I don't want to go either. But you've also seen how powerful Huo Lian was after advancing to life star. We are parting now so that we can stay together in the future. The Divine Ice Palace is a land of bitter cold, and it's not a good place for non-ice cultivators, or I'd invite you to come, said Yi's Hikyu helplessly. Can you really stay with us in the future? The Divine Ice Palace has agreed to it, asked Tang wan -er. Yes, my master has promised me that as long as I advance to Life Star and awaken the Ice Divine Sword, she won't restrict my freedom. Only then did Men Chi and the others relax. Men Chi cast a glance at Chu Yao and Tang Wan Er. The three of them backed up a bit to leave some space for Long Chen and Yi's Hikyu to talk alone. We've just reunited, only to part again. Long Chen bitterly smiled. From the moment Yi's Hikyu had arrived, all throughout the bloody battles they had gone through, they hadn't said more than ten lines to each other, but now they had to part. He was very unwilling to leave things like this. It's fine. We won't be apart for long this time. We'll be reuniting soon, said Yi's Hikyu. Yi's Hikyu normally had an icy tone to all her words, but now there was a touch of warmth. She took the initiative to hold Long Chen's hand. However, the instant she held his hand, she released it. Frost had covered Long Chen's hand in an instant. 
Sorry, my eye spirit body hasn't fully awoken, and I still don't have complete control over my energy. Apologize, Jis Hikyu. Long Chen flexed his fingers. He smiled. The eye spirit body really is amazing. I look forward to when you've fully awakened it. On one hand, he looked forward to seeing her so powerful, while another reason was that he hoped that she could control her energy. Otherwise, it would be a pain to be turned into an ice crystal every time they touched. Novaloon.com CM not sensing any petty thoughts from Long Chen. Yis Hikyu spread her arms and gave him a short hug. However, Long Chen was covered in frost after that. Even his hair had turned white. That appearance was startling and funny. Long Chen bitterly smiled and circulated his flame energy, restoring his appearance. Hopefully, in the future, they wouldn't feel a conflict between their flame energy and ice energy. Goodbye. Take care. Yis Hikyu said goodbye to everyone. She didn't want to go, but she had to. Mo Nian and Yis Hikia were both gone, and Cloud flew through the air with the dragon blood legion on her back. They used this time to start recovering. They hadn't had time to heal ever since that battle in the Yin Yang world. They hadn't just used up all their energy, but their nerves had also been on their highest alert all this time. Now that the crisis had passed, they felt lightheaded. Some of the healers fainted. The dragon blood cross slash at the end had sucked away all of their energy as well to increase its power. Everyone began to recover, while Long Chen also sat down and closed his eyes. He didn't need to recover his spiritual yuan because his physical body was still in the midst of strengthening. When his body had first been restored by the dragon scale, that had just been the start. His flesh and his bones were still tender, and it wasn't a good time for him to be fighting. Having forced himself to fight. He had caused his body to crumble. Now his body had to heal by itself. And even the life energy of the primal chaos space wasn't able to help. He could only use the energy of the dragon blood to heal. Even once his body looked healed. He found that it was still being torn apart and healed over and over again. Long Chen asked Evil Moon what was going on. And Evil Moon said that the Azure Dragon's essence blood was just that powerful. His current physical body was unable to handle its power, so the dragon blood was constantly tempering his body. It would only stop once his physical body was strong enough to handle the azure dragon essence blood. Evil Moon, you're from the dragon race. With your years of wisdom and experience, you should know the origin of that dragon scale. Right? Asked Long Chen. Fuck. Have you gotten into a habit of conning people? Even when you talk, you have to be a conner. If I can't answer, you'll be cursing me for being ignorant and living all my years for nothing. Rage Devil Moon. Definitely not. I am humbly asking for your wisdom. When did you get so sensitive? Are you a woman? Long Chen was speechless. He had just been trying to praise Evil Moon. Do you believe me when I say I'll tell Meng Chi and the others about what you just said? Threatened Evil Moon sinisterly. No way. When did you become so shameless after being with a shameless person like you for so long? I feel like I'm growing further and further apart from the Grand Dragon race. If this continues, I won't have any integrity left. Evil Moon sighed deeply. It's fine though. You were chosen by a descendant of the true dragons. Being infected a bit by you is something I can handle. I'll tell you this. Whether it's your cultivation base or your power level. You were completely unqualified to subdue that dragon scale. Rather than saying you subdued it, it would be more accurate to say that the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale chose you. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? And I thought you were smart. Could it be that you didn't notice it? In the end, the scale clearly let you off, or you would have died a thousand times over. As for why it would do that, I don't know. So don't ask me. If you really want an explanation, then here, it's all thanks to your dog shit luck, said Evil Moon. In truth, it really was unable to explain how this had happened. Long Chen should have died. Long Chen suddenly recalled that at the final moment when he had subdued the dragon scale, he felt like he had vaguely heard some kind of sigh. At that time, he had thought that he was imagining things. But now that Evil Moon said this, he didn't think he had imagined it. However, this kind of thing wasn't something that could be figured out just by thinking about it. So he gave up. He calmly sensed the changes in his body. It was still growing stronger. 
His physical body was already ten times stronger than before he had subdued the dragon scale, yet it was continuing to strengthen. According to Evil Moon, the Azure Dragon Essence Blood wanted to strengthen his body to the point that it matched the strength of the blood. Thinking of that, Long Chen felt some fear. He had been too arrogant this time. Evil Moon had been right. If the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale hadn't chosen him, then no number of lives would have been enough. However, there were no absolute rights or wrongs either. If he hadn't done something like this, possessing the courage to challenge a supreme existence, the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale might not have chosen him. Long Chen shook his head. If he couldn't figure it out, then he shouldn't waste time thinking about it. To Evil Moon, he said, I wanted to kill Huo Lian, but you didn't let me. Why not? If I had taken out the Heaven Flipping Seal, I would have had a 50% chance of killing him, and then I still would have been able to escape. That was one point that Long Chen had been confused on. It had been a great chance, but it had been wasted. He was a bit irritated. Leave it. When you attacked, you were unable to shake Huo Lian's golden fate lines. There was no way you would have killed him. Do you not even know about your own luck? Snorted Evil Moon. Golden fate lines. Long Chen was startled. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had also said such a term in the immemorial path. The favorites of heaven and earth were looked after by the heavens and blessed with great luck. If two people were to fight with around the same power level, they had to be able to rattle the other side's golden fates lines if they wanted any chance to kill the other. If their golden fate lines didn't budge, then there was no chance of killing them. Some kind of unexpected external power would always appear. In that kind of situation, even if you had taken out the heaven flipping seal, it would have been useless. The heaven flipping seal has to manifest its true body to unleash its full power, but because its true body is so huge, those nether passage experts would have an easier time blocking it. Even if the nether passage experts didn't block it, the Brahma divine diagram would have. Your attack only posed the slightest danger to Hugh O'Lean. You wouldn't have killed him, and you would have wasted the heaven flipping seal's energy. The more energy it can store up, the greater its intelligence will grow, and the greater control it will have. You shouldn't use it unless you have no choice, or each time it attacks, it will have to restart. Letting it first have more energy is better. The heaven flipping seal is stronger than you imagine, warned Evil Moon. Long Chen's heart shook. It seemed he had underestimated the heaven flipping seal. Its origins were not ordinary, or Evil Moon wouldn't give it such an appraisal. A day and night passed. Quite a few people had recovered to 50%, and they were much more relaxed. Boss, do we have no home to return to? Asked Guo Ran. Long Chen scolded. What nonsense are you talking about? As long as our brothers and sisters are present, wherever we go is home. Furthermore. Being expelled this time is something that I discussed with the Shuen Master. This is the only way for us to leave without misjivings. Fuck. Now that we have this freedom, your boss is going to go big with you. Hearing this, Guo Ran and the others' eyes lit up. They understood Long Chen far too well. There would be some big movements happening soon. However, before this, I'll bring you to a good place. Long Chen smiled. He gave Cloud a location and they began rushing away. Chapter 1931 1931 Welcome to the skyscraping world. When the Dragonblood Legion arrived, the leader of the original devil race, Yu Ziaokian's mother, personally came to greet them. Senior is too courteous. We came here to seek refuge. For you to treat us so grandly will embarrass us. Long Chen smiled. In truth, even if Long Chen didn't return to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he still had several other places he could go. One was the Wine God Palace. If he sought protection with the Wine God Palace, no one would dare to touch him. However, that wasn't too suitable. The Wine God Palace was supposed to be separated from the rest of the world's struggles. Long Chen didn't want to draw the Wine God Palace into the whirlpool around him. He could also bring the Dragonblood Legion to the spirit world. However, the barrier between the spirit world and the martial heaven continent was very powerful. Each time they moved between them, it would take a huge amount of energy from the life god tree. So the skyscraping world was the best place for Long Chen to go right now. So he had brought the dragonblood legion here. However, 
he was a bit overwhelmed that Yu Zivan would personally welcome them. There is no need for such courtesy between us. However, if I didn't show my friendship to the number one legion of the Martial Heaven Continent's first visit, I would appear too rude. Next time you come, I won't personally welcome you. Yu Zivan also smiled, appearing poised and graceful. Yu Ziaokian stood behind her. The two of them were like sisters. And, why didn't I see the great prophet? Long Chen looked around. Everyone he had seen on his last trip here was present, except the old prophet who had touched his face. Yu Ziaokian's eyes reddened slightly. Last time, her grandmother had tried to see the future of the original devil race from Long Chen's body. She had used a divine ability, but the backlash had exhausted all her life energy. She had already passed. Oh, she is still in seclusion and cannot come out to see you, said Yu Zivan apologetically. I was just curious. After all, as the junior, I have to greet her. But since she's still in seclusion, I'll have to wait for another time to pay my respects, said Long Chen. However, he definitely sensed something off with Yu Ziaokian's expression. But this wasn't a matter for him to pursue. Everyone, please come in. Yu Zivan waved a hand, indicating that everyone could enter. Senior, we know you're very busy. There's no need for you to waste time on keeping us company. Yu Ziaokian can show us around, said Long Chen. That's good too. You youngsters probably have more words to say. I wouldn't want you to feel constrained by my presence. Ziaokian, you're the host. Make sure to carry out your duties properly. Yu Zivan seemed to see through Long Chen's intentions. Due to her presence, Long Chen and the others were more reserved. Leaving things to Yu Ziaokian, she left with the original Devil Race's elders. Isn't it said that all the original Devil Race's men look like bloodthirsty fiends and monsters? Why don't they seem like that at all? Only once Yu Zivan and the others were gone did Guo Ran curiously look at the other original Devil Race experts. Xia Chen immediately pushed him, meaning that he should shut up. That was too rude. Long Chen smiled slightly and said, We're all one family, so you don't need to have such misjivings. The original devil race that you know is a fabricated story. There are many things in this world where the truth has become false, and what is false has become truth. It's difficult to determine the difference. History is always written by the winners. They glorify themselves and make their enemies ugly. So true and false must be determined by ourselves, not just by listening to others. Even what you see might not be true. So use your heart to judge, and your head to analyze. That's too complicated. We'll just follow boss. Once boss becomes a god, we'll follow and become gods as well, becoming a divine army. If boss becomes a devil, we'll become devils too. As long as our lives are still as brilliant as now, who cares? Boss. What do you think of this bootlicking of mine? Chortle Guo ran. All right. Stop messing around. We'll rest here for three days. Once those three days are up and everyone's back in peak condition, we'll be going to a trial by fire, said Long Chen. What trial by fire? Long Chen looked at everyone. Before advancing to the Life Star Realm, I want to excavate everyone's potential once more. Our skyscraping world has a devil blood pool that can replicate a clone of you. It will possess the same power, the same techniques, and the same spiritual yuan as you. Hence, you will be fighting against yourselves. Before this, you were facing enemies, and you had the confidence to win for sure. But this time, you will be facing yourselves. The stronger you are, the stronger your clone will be. I'm giving you a mission. Each person must be able to defeat themselves three times before breaking through to Life Star Realm. Three times? That's impossible. Yu Ziaokian was startled. Beating oneself required great bravery. After all, you were fighting yourself. You might even lose yourself and be unable to tell who was who. It could easily form a heart devil. And you might even feel an urge to kill yourself. The trial of the devil blood pool wasn't to beat yourself but to make you face your heart devil. Those who could defeat themselves were too rare. Even Yu Ziaokian had challenged it several times at the beginning and only managed to have a draw. As for other experts, they were judged by how long they could last. That would determine how strong their mental realm was. Lasting an incense stick's worth of time was the passing grade. Two incense sticks worth of time was excellent. 
three and cents sticks worth of time made you a genius that would be heavily favored. Those who could last over two hours were the pillars of the original devil race. Yu Ziaokian had lasted four hours each time, making her the greatest genius of the original devil race in many years. However, even she was unable to defeat herself. For Long Chen to want the Dragonblood warriors to defeat themselves, and three times at that, was essentially heaven-defying. It's fine, I believe that they can do it, said Long Chen. Guo Ran's expression suddenly changed. He seemed to foresee a miserable plight for himself. Three days later, after resting, everyone other than Long Chen had finally recovered to their peak state. After consecutive life and death battles, their mental realms had once more advanced. Their cultivation bases were at the peak of soul transformation, and many people already felt the barrier to the next realm weakening. They already possessed the ability to attack the Life Star Realm. During this time, Long Chen told Yu Ziaokian to have the Huai insect send a message to the old man, telling him that he was safe and to be at ease. As for Ku Jin Ying's side, she had Li Xiangxuan, and Li Xiangxuan understood Long Chen. He wouldn't worry about him. However, the old man might very likely be searching for him. With his temper, he might just charge straight over to Pill Valley and cause a fuss. Although the old man had a fiery temper, he was very protective and willing to sacrifice his own life for his children. Long Chen was worried about something happening to him. He told the old man that they had found a good place to go into seclusion and that they were preparing to attack the Life Star Realm. Long Chen had no choice but to lie. If the old man knew that he had run to the original devil race and couldn't return home, he might explode in fury. After three days of rest, the Dragonblood warriors were completely refreshed. They were now standing in front of a giant blood pool. Yu Ziaokian introduced it, explaining that it was a relic from ancient times. Back then, the original devil race had slaughtered their enemies of the devil races refining their devil cores and devil blood to create this miraculous devil blood pool. Who wants to go first? Asked Long Chen. Boss Gu Yang definitely is unwilling to miss this chance. I won't fight against him over it, or that would be a provocation toward the Dragonblood Legion's number one captain, said Guo Ran immediately. Guo Ran's arm had shot up, and at first, people thought that he was actually volunteering, making them wonder if the sun had risen from the west today. However, he ended up volunteering Gu Yang. Gu Yang's expression was dark. By calling him the number one captain of the Dragonblood Legion, he had no choice but to go. Gu Yang rubbed his bald head and took a deep breath. Clenching his teeth, he stepped forward, feeling great pressure. During these three days, he had learned more about the Devil Blood Pool and its abilities. He knew that for other people, this trial wasn't to be beaten. Normally, People's talent was judged by how long they lasted, as defeat was set in stone. Being the first one to challenge this trial, his results would affect the rest of the Dragonblood Legion's morale. Not only that, but hundreds of experts from the original Devil Race were also watching. They were looking at them with worshipful expressions, wanting to see the power of the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion. This was a rare opportunity for them. In this kind of scenario, being defeated would be embarrassing, so he couldn't be defeated. Have you prepared yourself? If you're ready, then let's start. On the other hand, Long Chen was very relaxed. Gu Yang took out a spear. This was a battle spoil. It was a very good half-step divine item, and the weapon he was most used to. Start. Gu Yang took a deep breath. Yu Ziaokian pointed a finger. A blood-colored light came from the devil blood pool, enveloping Gu Yang. He vanished, and a giant bubble appeared in the pool. An ancient martial stage was present within it. Gu Yang's figure appeared on the martial stage. Not far from him, blood bubbled and a figure gradually condensed. It was another person who looked identical to Gu Yang. They really are the same. Even the brightness of their heads is identical, exclaimed Guo Ran. Like this, when the battle started, they wouldn't be able to tell who was who. Tang Wan Er chuckled. Even at such a tense time, Guo Ran was able to crack a joke. But it was true. The first things their eyes were attracted to were the two bright suns inside the bubble. Gu Yang's radiance was difficult to cover up. Just as they stared in amazement at how alike this duplicate was, 
The fake Gu Yang spear suddenly pierced forward, unleashing a shocking power. A pillar of blood chi soared into the sky. What upon seeing that blood chi, all the dragon blood warriors let out a startled cry. Chapter 1932. 1932 it even duplicated the dragon blood battle armor. The fake Gu Yang had summoned the dragon blood battle armor and was now covered in red dragon scales. With a roar, its spear pierced toward Gu Yang. Boom. Gu Yang's body shuddered, and he was sent flying by the fake Gu Yang's spear. Blood dripped out of his mouth. He was filled with shock. What's going on? Why is it that the fake is even stronger than the true body? Exclaimed Guo Ran. Gu Yang was actually at a disadvantage. No. The fake Gu Yang has an identical combat power to the real one. However, the duplicated one has one advantage. And that is that it doesn't need a warm up. It is in its peak state from the start. As for the true body, it needs to slowly accumulate power and raise it. That's one of the monstrous aspects of the devil blood pool. It's a bit unfair, but there's nothing we can do about it, explained Yu Ziaokian. Upon hearing this explanation, their confidence received a blow. This was practically cheating. For most people to unleash 100% of their power, they would need to unleash three attacks. The first attack would have 50% of their power, the second would have 80%, and only the third would have 100%. That was the safest and most perfect way of warming up. Of course, it was possible to use 80% on your first attack and then 100% perfect on your second. But without a warm-up, you might injure your meridians. As for using 100% from the start? First, ignoring how difficult it would be to do such a thing. Even if you did pull it off, you might tear apart your meridians. Before injuring your enemies, you would have injured yourself, causing your power to drop. Then due to being injured, your attack would have less effect. However, this duplicate was able to ignore this rule and was instantly at full power. They were helpless over this cheating. No rules are perfect. The true body is at quite a disadvantage in this fight. So, Yu Ziaoki and looked at Long Chen and didn't finish her sentence. Long Chen smiled. You don't need to give me face. You want to say that even one victory each would be a crazy dream. Yu Ziaokian covered up a smile. I wouldn't say it so directly, but yes, she had been very careful with her words to avoid giving a blow to Long Chen. She was trying to protect him, but Long Chen had long since been bruised by the blows of cruel reality. He was used to it. Actually, I encountered a similar trial in the immemorial path, but it was even crueler. This devil blood pool replicates 100% of the true body's power. While in that trial, it created an enemy with 120% of your power. Furthermore, you couldn't retreat or lose, or you would die, said Long Chen. 120% of the true body's power. Now everyone was shocked. They hadn't known that Long Chen had experienced something like that in the immemorial path. Then you won? Damn, that was a dumb question. If boss had lost, you wouldn't be standing here. Li Qi had just spoken when he realized he had misspoken. But boss, that's impossible. How is someone supposed to beat another version of yourself that is simply stronger? Asked Guo Ran. That made no sense. Then tell me, if there were two identical people, wouldn't their odds of victory be 50-50? Based on that logic, why is it that the original devil race's disciples practically never managed to defeat themselves in this trial? That's why you shouldn't try to use this logic, nor should you let this logic restrict your mind. I've previously told you that you have to keep your imagination in front of reality. Otherwise, you would have reached the end of your path and be unable to walk any further, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's eyes lit up. She seemed to have understood something. Long Chen saw that and smiled. As expected of the sacred daughter, you understood with just a hint. Yu Ziaokian's comprehension skills were truly great. Long Chen had never seen anyone who surpassed her when it came to learning. Sacred Daughter was the title bestowed by the original devil race to their future leader. Both disciples and elders called her this. Rumbling rang out as Gu Yang's fight continued. It was growing increasingly intense. Has Gu Yang taken the advantage said Tang Wan'er with surprise. You're wrong. The one being beaten miserably is the real Gu Yang said Long Chen. Tang Wan'er blushed. The two look the same. I thought the one shouting was Gu Yang. 
Yu Ziaokian said. It's normal to not be able to see the difference. The Blood Devil Pool replicates the true body's habits as well. Gu Yang has a habit of shouting when he has taken the advantage. Wanting to snowball this advantage into a victory and increase his opponent's mental pressure. The silent one was actually the real one. But it was the fake that had taken the advantage and was shouting in an identical way to how Gu Yang shouted in combat. Everyone stopped their cheering awkwardly. They didn't know what kind of emotion the current Gu Yang was feeling. But they guessed that it wasn't a good one. The distant experts of the original Devil Race didn't find this odd. What they were shocked by was Gu Yang's power. The two Gu Yangs were fighting with immense power that made it hard for them to breathe. Their fight eventually passed the two-hour mark. Too powerful and too fierce. The original Devil Race's disciples were gobsmacked. Gu Yang's fight was so intense that it was making their own blood heat up. Two hours is already the level of the strongest heavenly geniuses. And it seems he can still continue. As expected. The name of the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion isn't for nothing, praised one of them. He was one of the original Devil Race's core disciples, and he had managed to last a full two hours last time. However, past that mark, he had been instantly defeated. Back then, he had been on his last legs and had barely managed to bitterly hold on for this long. The original Devil Race only had 30-some people on his level. As for Gu Yang, his fight was still incredibly intense. Despite being suppressed, there were no signs he was about to give up. Gu Yang's been injured. Song Mingyuan suddenly let out a cry. Gu Yang's shoulder had been pierced by his opponent's spear. Blood soaked his upper robes. Novaloon.com The fake Gu Yang was growing fiercer with its attacks, and it seemed to possess limitless power, making them suspect that it truly had greater stores of energy. Its aura wasn't weakening at all. Ziaokian, is there any mortal danger to the blood devil pool? Asked Chu Yao. Don't worry, the devil blood pool is a treasure passed down from the ancient era. If someone is going to be killed, they'll be instantly transported out. There's no chance of dying, but being injured like this isn't part of the auto protection system, said Yu Ziaokian. She was also amazed by how Gu Yang had lasted for so long. The more time passed, the further victory seemed to be and the harder it would be to continue fighting. Only those who had experienced the Devil Blood Pool understood just how difficult it was. Gu Yang was going all out, but no matter what, he was unable to reverse the tides. The fake Gu Yang had completely suppressed him. He slowly began accumulating injuries and looked to be in great danger. However, Gu Yang was still brave, and sometimes he only narrowly avoided being struck in his vitals. If he was about to be struck in a vital spot, the trial would determine that he was about to die and would transport him out. The current Gu Yang was covered in blood, but his gaze was still sharp. He wasn't panicking at all. His spear was still steady. What a terrifying will. Even in such a hopeless scenario, he hasn't given up. Anyone else would have long since crumbled. The original Devil Race's disciples were watching with shock. It had already been another hour. Gu Yang's will was amazing. They knew what it represented for Gu Yang to still be fighting. He was currently in a hopeless battle, and it was practically torture. Boom. Suddenly, Gu Yang's spear went flying, and the fake Gu Yang's spear pressed against the real Gu Yang's head. However, at that moment, the devil blood pool transported Gu Yang out. Li Qi and Song Mingyuan immediately went to support him. He was pale and barely able to stand. He had used up all his energy but had still been defeated. Guo Ran, I'll give you a chance to show off in the greatest way possible in all of history. Do you want it? Long Chen suddenly sent a message to Guo Ran. Chapter 1933. 1933 sorry, to disappoint everyone. Gu Yang barely had the energy to speak. Is something wrong with this trial? The real Gu Yang is exhausted. But the fake one isn't even breathing hard. The difference is too great questioned Li Qi. Gu Yang hadn't made any mistakes from the start. Even while suppressed, he hadn't given up a single chance to counterattack, but he was still defeated. In truth, the fake Gu Yang also doesn't have much energy. It's just that the fake won't act weak, explained Yu Ziaokian. Gu Yang, you're very amazing to have lasted a full four hours. I'm ashamed of my own time. Yu Ziaokian's best record was only half an incense stick's time longer than Gu Yang. 
and that was after she had challenged the Devil Blood Pool several times. She had plenty of experience. While this was Gu Yang's first time, suddenly, at this time, Guo Ran walked over with his chest puffed out, patting Gu Yang on the shoulder. It's fine, don't be depressed. If you've been defeated, then leave it to me, you. Everyone looked at Guo Ran with confusion. They even suspected that this Guo Ran was a fake. When they encountered any trial, Guo Ran would dodge it if he could. The Guo Ran that always rolled on the ground begging for release could also say something so heroic? It seems you've all misunderstood me. Do you really think I'm a coward? You question my bravery in challenging the devil blood pool, sighed Guo Ran. No, I don't question your bravery in challenging the devil blood pool. Li Qi shook his head. He, that's right. Guo Ran nodded. Dot. I question whether you have any bravery at all. What the? Guo Ran almost coughed up blood. He loudly said, I'll tell you the truth. Before, I was intentionally acting cowardly. Do you know why? Everyone shook their heads, looking at Guo Ran suspiciously. Why was it that today's Guo Ran was like a different person? Had he been possessed? Guo Ran heroically announced. All right, then I'll tell you. I acted cowardly for boss. In my heart, boss is like a god. As they say, the sky cannot have two suns, and the people cannot have two masters. I don't want my light to overshadow boss. Guo Ran, Guo Ran, as your brother, I'm not trying to criticize you, but don't you think you're bragging a bit too hard? Do you even believe yourself? Ask your own conscience if you believe it, said Song Mingguan. Ah, well when you put it that way. Guo Ran suddenly felt that things had taken a turn, and that if he continued, he would be exposed. He glanced at Long Chen who was looking at him contemptuously. Spiritually, he scolded. Stop messing around. If you don't have that skill, don't force it. There's no need for this. Just start your display. Guo Ran cleared his throat and said, All right, I won't joke. Gu Yang's defeat is because he lacked one thing. Inside his heart. He didn't feel confident in definitely winning. Why? Because he was facing himself. If he was facing anyone else, anyone from the corrupt path, the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, even if they were equally matched in power, I believe that Gu Yang would definitely win. Why? Because he has no other choice but to beat them. Defeat would signify death, and death would implicate the lives of even more of his brothers. A person can go all out against others. But going all out against themselves? That's the most monstrous aspect of the devil blood pool. It creates a duplicate of yourself, which makes you feel like it's unfathomable. It sees through your techniques, making you feel helpless. The lack of confidence you feel is the main problem. The duplicate of the devil blood pool will immediately use a warmed up 100% power attack. That's actually a psychological blow. Using an attack that surpasses common sense will leave a shadow on your heart. A voice will repeat in the depths of your heart that you cannot possibly defeat your opponent. The moment that shadow appears, you'll already be defeated. Gu Yang only had any chance of defeating himself in the first hour. After that, as he grew weary, the shadow on his heart only expanded, and the effort of continuing to fight against that shadow exhausted more energy. That's why the fake Gu Yang seemed to still possess energy, but the real Gu Yang couldn't last any longer. After hearing all this, everyone's expressions changed. Guo Ran was previously only capable of saying some big nonsensical words, but now his words were all reasonable. In truth, you've been fooled by my outer appearance. I'm actually a very low-key person, but today, I'll show you my true self. Brothers, just prepare yourselves. I don't want my display to cause the whole world to know my great name. I want to maintain my original heart. Guo Ran stepped forward bravely toward the devil blood pool. I'll show you just how you should defeat yourself and your heart devil. Keep a close watch on my movements. I'll trouble sister Ziaokian to activate the trial for me. Everyone looked at each other, feeling like today's Guo Ran was very odd. Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen and he helplessly nodded. Guo Ran had ended up adding some of his own poser spice into the plan that they had discussed, resulting in people not fully believing him. Guo Ran's figure vanished, reappearing in a giant bubble within the devil blood pool. He was standing atop an ancient martial stage, just like Gu Yang had. 
Guo Ran summoned his armor. Only his face was revealed. He had just appeared when another figure slowly condensed from blood mist not far from him. That figure was identical to Guo Ran, with even that wretched smile being the same. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. Even if you gave a monkey imperial robes, it wouldn't look like a prince. This kind of poser style didn't suit Guo Ran. He looked out of place, making Long Chen even regret appointing Guo Ran as the main character of this display. Everyone, watch closely, shouted Guo Ran. His face also became covered in his golden armor. Suddenly, the opposing Guo Ran slashed its sabers. It was incredibly quick, like a golden bolt of lightning. The sudden burst of power came without any warning, none whatsoever, and its power instantly reached the pinnacle. Boom. Guo Ran raised his own sabers to block, only to be sent flying. He tumbled back, looking even worse off than Gu Yang. Guo Ran stabbed his sabers into the martial stage, creating two large cuts. He barely stabilized himself before the fake Guo Ran charged over. A pair of golden wings appeared on its back, and its sabers rapidly spun as it charged over. How powerful! Although the duplicate Guo Ran was using the same techniques as Guo Ran, its battle style was different. It was fiercer. Guo Ran was forced back, but his power began to rise bit by bit. Suddenly, with a cry, the fake Guo Ran came to a stop and was then forced back by Guo Ran. The two of them both retreated at the same time. After blocking the first wave of attacks, raise your power to your peak, whether the other side is your enemy or yourself. Crush them. Guo Ran went on the offense, facing his opponent's attacks with his own. Two golden monstrosities were clashing crazily. Their colliding weapons and mechanisms were like thunder, while their bodies were like golden lightning. Do you still remember what Boss said? If you want to get stronger, you need to find a reason to get stronger. Why do you want to be strong? Have you already forgotten? It's to protect those we cherish in our hearts. No matter who our opponent is, even if it's a god or devil, they can't be allowed to take away the people we love. Our lives aren't our own. If they want to kill us, then they want to harm our beloved. Even if we're facing ourselves, we have to ear up with our fury. Roar and proclaim that we are undefeatable Guo Ran shouted as he fought. His voice contained a metallic sound to it. The current Guo Ran seemed to have been possessed by Long Chen, having a kind of domineering air to look down on the nine heavens. He crazily attacked his opponent, but the two of them were equally matched. Neither side was able to suppress the other. Erase the fear and apprehensions inside your heart. Don't be suppressed by your opponent. This is just the first step. In this kind of state, you'll simply be fighting over who runs out of energy first. You'll only have a 50% chance of winning. However, what we want isn't 50% but a 100% chance of winning. At this time, we have to fight with our true power. We are the great Dragonblood Warriors the number one legion of the martial heaven continent. We have our own pride. Each day, we have to do everything we can to get stronger. We're stronger than we were yesterday. We're stronger than we were an hour ago. We're stronger than we were a minute ago. We have to be stronger than we were a blink ago. As for our opponent, it's just a replicated version that won't get stronger. We get stronger with each breath. So tell me, what reason do you have to not win? Kill. Guo Ran's saber suddenly blazed with light. He seemed to go crazy, unleashing a tempest of attacks. His aura gradually rose even higher, and his armor grew brighter. He seemed to be undergoing some kind of transformation, and he was actually constantly forcing his opponent back. So that's how, Li Qi clenched his fist, feeling his blood heating up. He wanted to go try this trial right now. Continuous rumbling rang out as Guo Ran went all out. His opponent was constantly knocked back. The distant experts of the original devil race were staring with shock, their own blood heating up. In the past, they had felt too much reverence for the devil blood pool, and the idea that the only thing they could do was last longer against it had become a deep-rooted belief. They had stopped believing that they could defeat themselves. Now that Guo Ran was showing them the way, their minds became clear. They saw an unprecedented world for themselves. No matter who it is, those who block me will die. Guo Ran roared and slammed his sabers together. His opponent, who was still reeling from the previous blow, 
had its neck severed by Guo Ran's dual sabers. Chapter 1934 1934 Boom. Guo Ran's opponent's head was severed. However, at that moment, the martial stage vanished and Guo Ran was transported out. Guo Ran's armor disappeared, revealing himself. The current Guo Ran was covered in sweat, but he was filled with excitement. Ha ha ha, brothers, I can only help you out this much. As for whether or not you understood, it's, it's all up to you. Guo Ran's legs failed him, and he almost collapsed. Although his fight had lasted less than an hour, he was exhausted. He needed Li Qi to go support him. After placing Guo Ran in a chair, Li Qi praised him. Guo Ran, I'm fully convinced. So you were actually hiding your true self so well. Don't worry about it. Brothers, go out and fight. No matter who is in your way, crush them. Guo Ran forced himself to shout despite his lack of energy. Following that, the dragon blood warriors charged into the devil blood pool one by one. Yu Zioki and activated the automatic trial mechanism. So now anyone that entered the devil blood pool would automatically be drawn into their own trial. One martial stage appeared after another, and furious roars rang out as the dragon blood warriors went all out. Their battle intent was fully ignited by Guo Ran. Looking from the dragon blood warriors fighting to the original devil races experts that couldn't help but look at him worshipfully, Guo Ran felt like all his pores had been fully opened. He felt like he might ascend at any moment. This feeling was indescribable. Boss, you treat me too good. This is my greatest moment. Guo Ran looked at Long Chen worshipfully. What happened? Why was it so difficult? Asked Long Chen. The two of them were speaking spiritually to prevent others from hearing. Boss, it was my mistake. I forgot to remove some of the mechanisms. I almost ended up screwing myself, said Guo Ran. The plan had been for Guo Ran to remove some of the hidden parts of his armor, weakening it. When the devil blood pool duplicated him, his armor would still be missing those parts. Since Guo Ran's armor was a physical object, it couldn't duplicate what had been lost. After the duplication, Guo Ran could simply add the portions that hadn't been duplicated. The devil blood pool was for normal experts, but Guo Ran was too special and could easily trick it to pass. It was just that Guo Ran had been so focused on showing off that rather than taking off the seven parts he had planned, he had gotten caught up in his words that he had forgotten the last three parts. As a result, the duplicated Guo Ran was only a bit weaker than his true self. Fortunately, he had still managed to beat it. Hearing this, Long Chen sighed. I find that showing off is the only motivation that can make you go all out. Normally, you would have definitely lost. I think the same way. So showing off is the thing that can stimulate my potential. I really admire myself. Guo Ran nodded. Long Chen glanced at him without saying anything. After succeeding in showing off, he would become even more of a show-off in the future. However, that wasn't necessarily a bad thing. Each person pursued different things. What worked for others might not work for someone else. However, boss, will this really work? Those duplicates are too powerful. Facing myself gave me a weird feeling that made fighting very difficult, said Guo Ran worriedly. That's because your will isn't strong enough. Don't think others are like you. Do you think others live off of showing off like you? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Boom. Yu Zifan was the first to return. He had already succeeded in defeating his opponent. Those disciples of the original devil race were shocked. It had only been a minute. But Yu Zifeng had already won. After being transported out, Yu Zifeng didn't hesitate. He entered the devil blood pool again, once more appearing outside in under a minute. Now the original devil race's expert's eyes almost popped out of their heads. Yu Zifeng was practically a monster. Just as they were shocked, Yu Zifeng entered the devil blood pool and returned once again. I've completed your mission. Yu Zifeng smiled. Long Chen nodded. The will of a sword cultivator was truly terrifying. Their will was concentrated in their sword, and they had to possess an undefeatable will to control an undefeatable sword. Even without Guo Ran's display, Yu Zifeng would have passed the devil blood pool. Sword cultivators were madmen, or they wouldn't be able to devote their hearts purely to the sword. The original devil race's disciples had never seen anything like this. Furthermore, this was just one of the dragon blood legion's captains. 
Now they understood why the Dragonblood Legion was called the Martial Heaven Continent's number one Legion. They were monstrous. At this time, Li Qi also returned. However, he was covered in blood and was panting. Although he won, he had paid a price. Ha ha ha. Satisfying. Really satisfying. Li Qi laughed. Although he was short of breath, he was still smiling. Yu Ziaokian also returned. At some point, she had also entered. Her shoulder was bleeding, but she was smiling delightedly. Long Chen, I finally beat it, exclaimed Yu Ziaokian, holding Long Chen's hand. I knew you would be able to figure it out with just some pointers. But next time, be careful. If you get injured here, I'll get hurt here. Long Chen pointed to Yu Ziaokian's shoulder and then his own heart. Although he knew being injured in battle was unavoidable, he still felt some pain. Yes, I'll pay more attention in the future. Yu Ziaokian blushed slightly, looking down, but she was happy inside. Another person returned. Long Chen jumped in shock. Little miss, just what are you up to? It was Tang Wan'er. She was now covered in blood, and even her face was covered in cuts. Although they rapidly healed, the blood remained. He, I won. Tang Wan'er made a victorious gesture and an adorable face. Long Chen suddenly hugged Tang Wan'er, startling her. She knew Long Chen was distressed by her current appearance. You don't need to pass the trial. Your wind blades are like a whirlwind of thousands of blades. It's too bloody, said Long Chen. No, I am also a member of the Dragonblood Legion. I'm not going to become dead weight. Don't worry, I'll look after myself. Getting a bit injured will just toughen me up. Tang Wan'er held Long Chen's face in her hands. After saying that, Tang Wan'er and Yu Ziaokian circulated their heavenly Tao energy to recover and prepare for the next challenge. After all, not everyone was as monstrous as Yu Zifeng and capable of maintaining their peak condition the entire time. Yu Zifeng was capable of mercilessly slaying even himself. That was one reason why most sword cultivators were lonely, aloof figures. Most of the Dragonblood warriors managed to win, but some failed. Facing oneself was too difficult. But after resting, they tried again. To maintain the maximum effect each time, they always recovered to their peak condition before attempting it. Boss, how about you try it as well to raise their morale? Asked Guo Ran. Long Chen shook his head. This kind of trial is meaningless to me now. Long Chen had stealthily tested the Devil Blood Pool before, only to find that Evil Moon, his Dragon Blood Battle Armor, and even his Paragon Arts were unable to be duplicated. Not even his World Extermination Flame Lotus could be duplicated. The Dragon Blood Warrior's Dragon Blood Battle Armor could be duplicated, but not his. It was very strange. In this kind of state, he could only fight with his bare hands to challenge himself, which was useless. Furthermore, the Azure Dragon Essence Blood was constantly strengthening his physical body, so this trial couldn't help him at all. As the Dragon Blood Warriors challenged the Devil Blood Pool, within a distant high tower, Yu Zivan and some core elders of the original Devil Race were watching. This Long Chen has toppled our understanding of the Devil Blood Pool as soon as he arrived. No wonder he is able to turn everything on its head in the Martial Heaven Continent. He truly is a monstrous existence said one of the elders. The original devil race has a deep relationship with the nine star heirs. Long Chen's fate is tied to our original devil races, and this is the start of our resurgence. Long Chen's arrival will cause huge changes. Perhaps one day, we will be able to break the martial heaven continent's bindings and merge with the original devil races of other star fields, said Yu Zihan. Race leader, Long Chen brought a lot of heavenly Tao fruits this time and many of them are on the Empyrean level. This matter is too big for us to handle, so we need your guidance, said the Elder. In the Yun-Yang world, rivers of blood had flowed. Many great geniuses had died during the battle. Long Chen had mountains of the heavenly Tao fruits, which were more than enough to turn every member of the Dragonblood Legion into an Empyrean. He had then distributed a portion to the heaven-splitting battle sect, sending them through the Huaian sect while another portion was left with Li Shai Anxuan. The rest were for the original devil race. Not only were there over 2,000 on the level of Empyreans, but there were also over a million of the level of rank 9 Celestials. 
That was enough to raise a terrifying army that could fight on the Martial Heaven continent. There's no rush. Go back and choose a portion of our elite disciples to form a supreme army. Once they mature, we'll be able to fight the Martial Heaven continent. Yu Zivan looked into the distance with a smile. She seemed to be able to see the day that the original devil race could return to the Martial Heaven continent. Chapter 1935 1935 As time passed, more and more of the Dragonblood warriors passed the tests. They managed to defeat themselves three times in a row. However, some of them failed many times. They might win the first time and then lose the second, and so they had to start over. Even if they won twice but lost the third, they would have to restart. This was a condition that Long Chen had tacked on. It could be considered a challenge with a heaven-defying level of difficulty. Each time they beat themselves, their power and will would rise. However, the next time they tried the trial, their opponent would have grown equally strong. To defeat themselves three times in a row, they had to constantly grow stronger. That was incredibly difficult. Long Chen was trying to draw out all their potential. In theory, this method was impossible, but Long Chen had never really believed in theory. His principle was to raise his saber and fight to the death. There were no reasons or excuses needed. All he had to do was win. After three days, half of the Dragonblood warriors had managed to pass the three consecutive win condition. Some of them even challenged themselves over and over again to break through their limits. The Dragonblood Legion's power shook the original Devil Race's disciples to the core. The difference between them was immense. Some of them also started challenging the Devil Blood Pool. This time, they weren't fighting for time but to win. Very quickly, some of them also managed to defeat themselves, stimulating the rest of them. Countless disciples began to attempt the trial. Time passed by, bit by bit. Most of the Dragonblood warriors managed to pass but hundreds of them were now in a deadlock. They were constantly growing stronger but so were their opponents. They couldn't win. Long Chen gathered those Dragonblood warriors. They were ashamed. They had all managed to beat themselves twice in a row but lost on the third. They were angry enough to curse. Having been specifically gathered by Long Chen, they were ashamed of themselves, as well as nervous, feeling like they had disappointed their boss. You are all excellent. The reason you weren't able to pass isn't because you aren't strong enough, but simply because you were unlucky. It's actually not a bad thing, said Long Chen. Boss, you don't need to comfort us, said one of the Dragonblood warriors. I'm not skilled in comforting others, only randomly hacking them. Long Chen smiled. That drew out a smile from them. Long Chen looked over at them. Having bad luck isn't a bad thing. This is a truth that I have profoundly experienced. My luck has always been terrible, and I would often complain about it. However, complaining had no use. It was only later that I realized that whether or not something is good depends on how you look at it. A lucky person has a smooth path, but after succeeding 999 times, all it takes is one failure for them to stumble and fall miserably. I'm sure with your experience, you know about the so-called high and noble heavenly geniuses who look down on others. Their good luck makes them succeed easier than others, which fosters a condescending attitude of looking down on others. Before encountering you, they always succeed. But after encountering you, they were killed with a single stroke of a blade, their good luck coming to an end. On the other hand, someone with bad luck will fall 999 times, but it only takes one success for them to soar. Their failures temper their will and mental realm, and once they step into a higher realm, their failures will become a solid foundation. One is a solid foundation, while the other is rootless duckweed. That's why you shouldn't be resentful of failure. Look at it from another point of view. Calm yourself down and find the source. Kuo Ran suddenly raised his hand. Boss, I understand. You're saying that failure is the mother of success. Even if I fail 999 times, all I have to do is try again. Long Chen nodded. Yes. If you try again, you can get an even thousand. Kuo Ran almost coughed up blood. Boss, what are you saying? What I just said doesn't apply to you. A fellow like you with no willpower or integrity doesn't follow this logic. If you want to say that failure is the mother of success, then you are definitely infertile, said Long Chen. Boss, my heart, 
without a hundred thousand spirit crystals. No, without a million spirit crystals, I'll never recover. Guo Ran lay like a ball on the ground without the slightest air of an expert. Guo Ran was the clown of the Dragon Blood Legion. He liked to mess around, but he was able to raise everyone's mood. Fine, you win. I'll give you the money when we get back. Let's talk for real, said Long Chen. Speaking to everyone, he said, being angry over this is meaningless and won't solve your problems. At this time, you have to learn some new techniques. However, what I'm about to teach you, you cannot show to the heaven-splitting battle sect's people, or they'll definitely beat you. For the heaven-splitting battle sect, power was everything. If you couldn't beat your opponent, it just meant that you weren't strong enough. They wouldn't try to use any trick because that was a waste of time. A distraction from getting stronger. First, he had to make sure that what he was about to say wouldn't reach the old man's ears. Only once everyone nodded did Long Chen continue. The devil blood pool's rules are dead. While people are alive, you know your own weaknesses. And those weaknesses are duplicated. What if in the middle of battle, you were to break your limit by creating a new technique that is unique to you? You can come up with a completely deviant technique adapted to your weaknesses. In the end, the goal of battle is to eliminate your opponents. It doesn't matter if you use a crotch kick, an eye jab, a nose hook, as long as it works, it's fine. To tell the truth, back in the eastern wastelands Phoenix Cry Empire I had an exceptionally good crotch kick that knocked out quite a few balls. Tang Waner and the others turned away, their faces red. Long Chen's final words were a bit too crude. Chu Yao and Meng Chi both covered their smiles. Back in the Phoenix Cry Empire, Long Chen truly had often used this move. In fact, he had once used just this one move to take victory on the martial stage. Boss, we understood. We weren't flexible enough, said one of the Dragonblood warriors. Exactly. Rules are dead, but people are alive. Do you remember the Fate Princes that flustered Chang Hao and Bao Buping? Two of you were able to kill two Fate Princes easily. Why is that? Because people need to know how to break conventions, or others will use their experience to play you to death as you follow the same patterns over and over again. We don't play by those rules. If someone wants to play chess with you, just break the chessboard, said Long Chen. Men Chi and the others were speechless. When Long Chen was evil, was there anyone more evil than him? The things he could come up with were chilling. Boss, we understand. Then go. Those dragon blood warriors once more charged into the devil blood pool. This time, their battle style had clearly changed. People quickly ran back, exclaiming their victories. Don't get happy too soon. You'll only be able to use each move once because it will be duplicated the next time. You need to constantly think of new techniques on the fly. Furthermore, make sure to win. Because as time passes, your opponent will only grow more evil as you do said Long Chen. Those dragonblood warriors felt their excitement vanish without a trace. They focused and ran back to the trial. However, with just this one warning, they once more passed. They were constantly thinking of how to create a new method to target their own weaknesses. The dragonblood warriors all started challenging the devil blood pool again, wanting to use this chance to think of new techniques. There was no risk to their lives, and they could gain more experience. They were like divine weapons being constantly sharpened by the devil blood pool. With each day, they made progress. They could clearly feel themselves getting stronger. Influenced by the dragon blood warriors, the disciples of the original devil race also joined in. Another week passed, and the dragon blood warriors had all passed. After that, Long Chen took out a batch of heavenly Tao fruits, making the warriors who weren't yet Empyreans refine them. Due to their immense experience with refining the heavenly Tao fruits, it only took them a single day to refine them. Now the Dragonblood Legion was composed of Empyreans. Over 12,000 Empyreans were standing together. Their powerful auras caused heaven and earth to tremble. Long Chen felt a grand feeling in his heart. He had raised this unrivaled army. Brothers, let's go. We're undergoing tribulation. Long Chen suddenly waved his hand bringing the Dragonblood Legion out of the skyscraping world. Chapter 1936 1936 Above the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, everyone from the Dragonblood Legion was gathered. They were a bit nervous, as well as excited. 
They all felt the barrier in front of them weakening. They were just one step away from advancing to the life star realm. As long as they underwent the lightning tribulation, they would become life star experts. However, they knew that with Long Chen, their lightning tribulation wouldn't be the same as other people's. They would challenge the strongest kind of heavenly tribulation. This would be a battle. Other than the dragon blood warriors, Yu Zivan had also come. Looking over them, she said, the life star realm condenses the energy of your Yuan spirit and Danchen together. By borrowing the energy of heavenly tribulation, you condense your Danchen's formless chi into a solid entity. The two kinds of energy will form an astral space inside you. From then, you won't need to rely on spatial rings. This astral space is your life star bead. However, you will condense two life star beads. One will represent the past, and one will represent the future. Essentially all experts will choose to extract the life star bead of their past, because what they want is a new start for their future. That way, their mental realm will become like a sheet of blank paper, and they can rewrite what they want while abandoning what they don't, making their future cultivation even easier. However, Long Chen has told me that all your past experiences are very important to you, so you won't abandon the life star bead of the past. Then what you need to do is merge the two life star beads together. Doing such a thing requires much more tribulation lightning and will require a powerful will from each of you. This is something very dangerous. One reason is because heavenly tribulation can't be controlled. If it's not strong enough, you will fail to merge your two life star beads. The other reason is that doing such a thing has high requirements when it comes to your willpower, yuan spirit, and spiritual strength. You have to prepare yourselves. Long Chen and the others had never experienced the life star realm. But Yu Ziyan was explaining some things that they needed to take note of. Don't worry, we actually have plentiful experience when it comes to heavenly tribulation, said Long Chen. Even as the leader of the original devil race, Yu Ziyan had never heard of over 10,000 people undergoing tribulation together. Long Chen always did things that others would never do. She was a bit worried but he seemed confident. Yu Zivan nodded and led away a dozen experts of the original devil race. They made sure to distance themselves but be close enough to watch. Although Long Chen was confident, she still wasn't at ease. Although Long Chen was a nine-star heir, such a crazy action could not be controlled. If something unexpected happened, the results would be unimaginable. Despite that, Yu Zivan respected Long Chen's choice. She led her people further away and activated a grand formation to conceal them. That way, they wouldn't be sensed by the heavenly deos. If there was something wrong, they might be able to help. Should we open the spatial watching channel? Asked one of the experts she had brought. Yu Zivan nodded. That's a good idea. Let the disciples see how the dragonblood legion undergoes tribulation. Even if things go wrong, they might be able to learn something. That expert formed hand seals and a giant channel appeared behind him. It was like an eye watching the Dragonblood Legion in the distance. Within the ancestral lands of the original Devil Race, a giant projection appeared in the sky. The figures within that projection were Long Chen and the others. The disciples of the original Devil Race looked up to watch. Even the disciples still attempting the Devil Blood Pool stopped to watch. What are they doing? Could it be? Those disciples stared, dumbfounded. They thought of something that they didn't dare to imagine. Begin. Let's not waste any time, said Long Chen. Boom. The Dragonblood Legion's people unleashed their auras. Pillars of light soared into the sky as they all began attacking the Life Star Realm at the same time. As they broke through the barrier, the sky darkened and black clouds covered the sky. The world became silent. My eyes are being opened to the world. I've never seen such a terrifying lightning tribulation. The scope is even greater than when I advanced into Nether Passage, said one of the original Devil Race's experts. After passing through the mental journey part of advancing to the Nether Passage realm, success meant returning and undergoing heavenly tribulation. But even Nether Passage experts were stunned by this tribulation. Although the strength of the tribulation wasn't as great, the scale was even greater. Kill. However, the next scene made those Nether Passage experts dumbstruck. All the Dragonblood warriors suddenly began to attack the tribulation clouds that were gathering. Are they crazy? 
cried one of the Nether Passage experts. They were actually attacking Heavenly Tribulation? Wasn't that becoming enemies with the Heavenly Deos? Did they even care about their lives? Over 10,000 attacks struck the Tribulation Clouds, creating a large hole in the middle. The Tribulation Clouds surged, seemingly furious. They regenerated, growing denser. However, the Dragonblood Warriors' attacks didn't stop. They're one of the original Devil Race's expert side but swallowed his last two words. However, everyone knew that he was about to say that they were courting death. This truly was suicide. Even Yu Zivan frowned. Although she knew that the original Devil Race had a connection to the Nine Star Heirs, she wasn't qualified to know those secrets. So she couldn't comprehend what Long Chen was currently doing. As the Dragonblood Warriors attacked, the clouds grew thicker, and it was like a magical beast had been provoked. Heavenly Might crashed down from the sky. Suddenly, blinding lightning flashed amongst the originally dark clouds. It was like a sea of lightning falling from the sky, and it enveloped the Dragonblood Legion. Within that sea of lightning, the roaring of lightning beasts could be heard. Lightning beasts have already appeared in the first wave. The first wave of the tribulation was the weakest and was usually to leave room for people to get used to the lightning. The strength of the rest of the tribulation could be seen by the first wave. Normally, lightning beasts would only appear at the end. Kill. The dragonblood warriors raised their divine items, slaughtering these lightning beasts. The lightning beasts transformed into lightning runes that were absorbed by the dragonblood warriors. As they absorbed the lightning, their dantians began to change. They shrank, and the energy of their Yuan spirit and spiritual strength was absorbed by their dantians, gradually condensing into a small dot. That small dot was the embryonic life star bead. As it grew larger, it would become the true life star bead, and then it would fracture into two. For most cultivators, all they needed to do was take out the life star bead of their past so that they could continue with their life star bead of the future. That would create its own astral space and they would have advanced to the life star realm. However, Long Chen wanted everyone to merge their life star beads that would fracture them back into one, combining their past and future. That required a huge amount of tribulation lightning energy, as well as Yuan spirit energy and spiritual strength. Now they didn't need to worry about the amount of lightning tribulation energy. They crazily absorbed it. Long Chen was also immersed in the lightning. Lai Long was floating behind him but it only devoured any fellows that attacked it. Lightning on this level was no longer able to interest it. Long Chen didn't attack the tribulation clouds. He was waiting for everyone to absorb enough energy. He looked at Yu Ziaokian in the crowd and saw that there were more lightning beasts attacking her. That meant that she really was rejected by the world, and so she was receiving special treatment. More and more lightning beasts appeared, and they grew larger and more powerful. However, the Dragonblood Warriors were still able to easily handle them. Cloud had taken human form and was also fighting alongside everyone else. She was using a sword and was able to kill the lightning beasts easily, but her movements were stiff. She clearly wasn't too used to her human form. However, if she wanted a greater comprehension of the Heavenly Deos, she had to get used to it. It would be greatly beneficial. That was because humans were the most spiritual of life forms. Although the Xuan beasts possessed terrifying bodies, they weren't as close to the Heavenly Deos, and those closest to the Heavenly Deos had the highest chances of ascension. So the experts of the Xuan beasts all had to get used to human forms. As for the human race, they also had flaws and were extremely envious of the Xuan beasts' powerful bodies, thinking them to be the strongest. However, if the Xuan beasts really were the strongest, why would they choose to take human form? So foolish people really had different brains than normal people. They were simply incapable of communicating. Two hours later, the lighting beasts were so powerful that they were comparable to 12th rank magical beasts. The Dragonblood Legion was starting to find it taxing. However, it wasn't that they weren't strong enough to fight them, but that they were distracted by having to condense their life star beads at the same time. Lai Long, help them out. I'll let you have some good food in a bit. Long Chen waved his hand, and Lai Long roared. A giant lightning sphere shot out. Chapter 1937. 1937 Lai Long roared, unleashing an attack. 
A giant lightning sphere shot out of its mouth and then exploded in the air. It transformed into lightning swords that slew the lightning beasts. These lightning beasts were nothing to Lai Long, because they came from the same source. The divine lightning that Lai Long had absorbed made its thunder force far stronger than these lightning beasts. In a competition of power against power, Lai Long was like a tempered blade, while these lightning beasts were like cabbages. There was a qualitative difference between the two of them. The dragon blood warriors might be having some trouble with these lightning beasts, but they were easy to handle for Lai Long. The dragon blood warriors were delighted by this help. They focused the majority of their attention on merging their two life star beads. Being distracted was troublesome, and this help lifted quite a bit of pressure off of them, so they could now focus on their life star beads. Lai Long once more roared and a giant arc of lightning shot out, forming a wave that slaughtered the lightning beasts. They were instantly shattered into lightning runes. That was a shocking sight. The original Devil Race's disciples were stunned by the lightning dragon that Long Chen had summoned. The method that the Dragon Blood Legion used to undergo tribulation was shocking. It seems my worries were for nothing, said Yu Zihan. You can't be too sure of that. Long Chen is daring, but when the blood gets to his head, he might not think of certain details. Being careful is still best, said one of the elders. Time passed bit by bit. A willow image appeared amongst the dragon blood legion for a moment, but then it vanished. Lu Ruian had been using her human form to undergo this tribulation, but for some reason, she had suddenly manifested her true body for a moment before withdrawing it. This genius of the undying willow race has broken through, said Yu Zihan, looking at Lu Ruian. The Undying Willow is a very strong race. I didn't expect them to actually appear on the Martial Heaven continent and join the Dragon Blood Legion, said one of the elders. This is Long Chen's charisma. He's able to make his followers follow him unto death. Their devotion is so great that it even looks a bit foolish. But this is the human heart. He is willing to risk his life for others. So others will risk their lives for him. That's why the Dragon Blood Legion's power, unity and fearlessness have resounded throughout the martial heaven continent. Even his enemies have no choice but to admit that the Dragon Blood Legion is the continent's number one legion. The only inexplicable thing is the legend about the nine star heirs. They are supposed to be aloof, lonely figures who go against the world on their own. If Long Chen didn't possess the nine star hegemon body art, I'd suspect that he wasn't a nine star heir, said Yu Zihan. Long Chen's existence didn't quite match the records written by her race. Rumbling rang out and the world suddenly became multicolored. It's the five-colored tribulation lightning, exclaimed an elder. Troublesome. The Dragon Blood Legion has yet to fully merge their two life star beads, said a worried elder. It's still fine. Long Chen's expression is still calm. He probably came prepared, said Yu Zihan. The five-colored tribulation lightning crashed down like a flood. One after another giant lightning beasts came down, each larger than a mountain. They charged out of the five-colored lightning and at the dragon blood legion. These lightning beasts condensed of five-colored lightning were incredibly powerful. Just their roars caused people's souls to shake. They possessed immense heavenly might, which was the will of the heavenly deos, making it so others wouldn't even dare to resist. Even the nether passage experts were feeling fear now. This kind of terrifying heavenly tribulation was something that they didn't want to touch. They had originally come to prepare a grand formation that could unite their force, so that if something unexpected happened to Long Chen and the others, they could transport them back to the skyscraping world. That way, the lightning tribulation of the martial heaven continent would vanish. This was a way of tricking the heavens. However, if they wanted to do this, they would have to wait until the dragon blood warriors finished merging their life star beads, or they would never be able to advance to life star. The dragon blood warriors were at a critical moment, but now this five colored lightning came crashing down on them, that had surpassed the limits of what the original devil race could possibly control. If they tried to interfere, their lives would be in danger. The only thing that gave them the slightest bit of comfort was that Long Chen wasn't panicking at all as he was immersed in the five-colored lightning. He allowed it to wash over him, drinking it in. As for the dragon blood warriors, they actually didn't show any fear in the face of this heavenly might. 
They were completely focused on merging their life star beads. This heavenly might didn't give them much pressure. They had been going against this kind of heavenly might since they had known Long Chen, and they already possessed a certain resistance to it. This allowed the dragon blood warriors to continuously maintain their calm. Lai Long suddenly roared, transforming into a giant. Shockingly, this giant was an image of Long Chen. This is the original Devil Race's expert's pupil shrank. This lightning giant version of Long Chen stabbed a spear through the air, tearing through the void. A five-colored lightning beast was instantly pierced through. However, the lightning spear didn't stop at all. It continued, killing all the lightning beasts in its path. Nice, Lai Long. Long Chen smiled. Lai Long had a lightning spear in hand and giant lightning wings on its back. That was Long Chen's peak combat state. In the lightning field, Long Chen had made Lai Long learn the Sundering Lightning Heavenly Wings and the Wild Lightning Soul Battle Spear, as well as told it to teach him once it mastered those techniques. In truth, Lai Long was able to display these lightning paragon arts on its own. However, without Long Chen's cooperation, it couldn't connect to the lightning field, causing their power to sharply drop. However, now Lai Long was using the power of divine lightning against these five colored lightning beasts. These five colored lightning beasts were fundamentally unable to block it. Just as Long Chen was praising Lai Long, a small flame dragon flew around Long Chen's neck and rubbed Long Chen's cheek. Haha, <laughs> you're also amazing. You're both amazing. Long Chen rubbed Huo Long with his hand, comforting this jealous little fellow. Huo Long was also powerful, but Long Chen only had alchemy arts in his pill sovereign memories. His flame control arts were all for refining pills not fighting with flames. He had to admit that when it came to fighting with flames, he was slightly inferior to Huo Lian. It seemed that he would need to learn more flame arts in the future. After all, the heir of a pill sovereign couldn't be lacking such skills. Huo Long was like a spoiled child curling around Long Chen's neck to show its own existence. Long Chen comforted Huo Long as he watched Lai Long fight. The giant that Lai Long had transformed into was slaughtering the five colored lightning beasts. They were transforming into runes that the Dragonblood Legion was absorbing Noveloon.com boss is mighty. Lai Long is domineering the Dragonblood warriors cheered. The five colored lightning runes were many times purer than the previous runes. They could now focus on absorbing the energy of this lightning to merge their two life star beads. The five colored lightning runes were rapidly speeding up this process. That lightning dragon actually possesses divine power. It's inconceivable, said Yu Zihan looking at the lightning giant. Perhaps others weren't able to sense it, but she was clearly able to sense a divine attribute to it. Although it was very weak, she couldn't be wrong. Ha ha ha, I'm the first. Gu Yang let out a heaven-shaking roar. He hadn't managed to win any face against the devil blood pool, but now he was first to break through. He had to take back his first place spot. After all, he was the Dragonblood Legion's first captain. Your second. Lu Ruian glanced indifferently at Gu Yang. I. Fuck. Only then did Gu Yang notice that Lu Ruian had completed her advancement. Her hands were now on Chu Yao's back, and she was helping her merge her life star beads. If Big Sister Meng Chi didn't lend a portion of her spiritual strength to you, let alone being first. You might not even be able to merge them. Lu Ruian shook her head. Gu Yang's spiritual strength was extremely weak, and although it had grown stronger upon reaching the soul transformation realm and condensing a Yuan spirit, he was still at the bottom of the Dragonblood Legion. He was even worse than Guo Ran. It was Meng Chi who lent her spiritual strength to Gu Yang so that he would have enough spiritual strength to merge his two life star beads. Cough. If you always talk like this, you won't have any friends in the future. Gu Yang's face was a bit red as he awkwardly rubbed his head. Lu Ruian really wasn't giving him any face. Lu Ruian didn't pay him any more attention and focused on helping Chu Yao. Other than Chu Yao, Lu Ruian didn't like talking to others. Everyone was already used to it. Well, I can't help anyone, so I'll go kill those lightning beasts. Feeling like he had lost face. Gu Yang hastily found an excuse to get out of this awkward position. Lai Long was easily slaying the lightning beasts. However, when Gu Yang joined in, he had some difficulty. Even going all out, 
It took over 10 blows to kill one. What the? How are they so strong? Gu Yang was startled. Without the power of divine lightning, he had no innate advantage over these lightning beasts. Following Gu Yang, Men Chi also finished the merger. Although she had lent some of her spiritual strength, she had so much that she was able to finish very quickly. Following which, Yu Zifeng, Yu Ziaokian, Tang Wanur, and the others also finished and joined the battle. Boss, I feel like I. Guo Ran sent a message to Long Chen. He clearly couldn't last much longer. Stop finding excuses. If you need someone else to help you, your previous display at the Devil Blood Pool would be a lie, replied Long Chen. All right, I'll persevere. Thinking of how glorious he had been at that time, he couldn't get himself exposed now. Clenching his teeth, Guo Ran continued with the merger of his life star beads. More and more Dragon Blood warriors managed to finish and join the battle. Hence, Yu Zivan and the others felt a weight fall from their minds. At this time, the Dragon Blood warriors were absorbing the energy of the five colored lightning to expand their astral spaces and make them stronger. This was the best time to condense strong astral spaces. However, Long Chen's next words astonished them. Everyone, stop absorbing the tribulation lightning's energy, and definitely don't condense your astral space yet. Wait for everyone to finish the merger. Then we'll proceed with the next step. Chapter 1938 1938 After merging the life star beads, the astral space would naturally appear. This astral space could be likened to an embryonic minor world. Condensing an astral space also indicated that you had advanced to the life star realm. At this time, they needed to absorb as much thunder force to strengthen their astral spaces. The more thunder force they could absorb, the larger their astral spaces, and the more world energy they could produce in the future. Moreover, the five-colored lightning was an extremely powerful tribulation. This kind of lightning was something that not even every nether passage expert faced. This kind of powerful lightning would cause one's astral space to become much larger. It was several times more effective than regular lightning. It would usually only appear in a nether passage expert's tribulation. It was very rarely seen in the life star realm. The original devil races experts had come to the conclusion that Long Chen had ordered the attacks against the heavenly tribulation specifically for this five-colored lightning. Just as they were feeling praise for his foresight, Long Chen's shout left them dumbfounded. He actually didn't want people to absorb this five-colored lightning? Boss, I really can't do it. Please lend me some spiritual strength. I feel like my head is going to split open. Look. Big sister Meng Chi helped Gu Yang. So how can you let me lose face? Pleaded Guo Ran. Long Chen was speechless. Although Guo Ran's spiritual strength wasn't special, it wasn't so terrible. He definitely had the power to pass on his own. However, his willpower was too weak. He felt like he was out of energy. When in truth, he had at least 40% of his spiritual strength that was still untapped. His laziness resulted in him not excavating his own potential. However, Guo Ran had never been a person with great willpower. Or perhaps it should be said that his willpower was never used on cultivation. Helplessly, Long Chen stealthily gave Guo Ran a bit of spiritual strength. He even had to make it so that the others couldn't sense it. In the whole Dragon Blood Legion, less than a hundred people had yet to finish their merger. They were all in the final stages though. So Long Chen had no choice but to help Guo Ran. Guo Ran's body suddenly lit up, and his aura changed. That was a sign of finishing the merger. After the merger was complete, he seemed to become another person, no longer looking as pitiful as before. Looking at the warriors that had yet to finish, he called out, Brothers, are you alright? To wait for you, I suppressed myself as much as I could, but I couldn't hold it any longer. Work hard. Success is just a little bit away. Remember, we're the strongest warriors of the Martial Heaven continent, and nothing can stop us. As Guo Ran shamelessly cheered on the warriors that had yet to finish, Long Chen sighed inside. However, very quickly, the final Dragon Blood warrior finished the merger Ziaokian. Attack the Tribulation Clouds, said Long Chen. Me, Yu Ziaokian jumped in shock. She was from the original Devil Race and the heavenly deos of the martial heaven continent rejected her. 
She was already getting special attention from this tribulation. If she attacked it, the consequences were unimaginable. That's right. Go ahead. I'm here if you need me, said Long Chen with a smile. Yu Ziaokian suddenly thought of when she had undergone tribulation in the immemorial path. Back then, because of four mysterious experts interfering, she had almost died during her tribulation. She had barely passed, and in his fury, Long Chen had attacked the lightning tribulation, enraging the heavens and even forcing those four mysterious experts to flee. At that time, the heavens had chained Long Chen and bound him. However, he had torn apart the very fabric of the heavens. That was the moment Yu Ziaokian's heart was completely won by Long Chen. Seeing his smile, Yu Ziaokian also smiled. As long as Long Chen was present, there was nothing to fear. Her devil seal appeared on her forehead. After that, a ray of sword chi shot out at the heavens, accompanied by the specific energy of the original devil race. The tribulation clouds were torn apart by Yu Ziaokian's attack. After seeing that, the expressions of Yu Zihan and the rest of the original devil race completely changed. The original devil race's experts were different from the dragonblood warriors. They were rejected by the heavenly deos. As expected, the heavens went calm for a moment, and the five colored lightning slowly faded away. The tribulation clouds began to quietly brew. In the end, giant black lotus flower clouds began to bloom, forming dense layers in the sky. At the center of each lotus was flickering lightning. A terrifying pressure grew. Yu Zivan and the others let out startled cries. Divine lightning. The lightning contained in these lotus flowers actually contained divine pressure. Even nether passage experts felt fear. This wasn't a matter of having the guts to face it as this was a spiritual suppression. Divine lightning was for ascending experts. In front of this divine might, it was impossible not to feel fear. The sacred daughter. The nether passage experts turned pale white. Yu Ziaokian was the hope of the original devil race. If she died, what would happen? At this time, Yu Zivan calmed down surprisingly. The fate of the original devil race was already intricately linked to Long Chen. Thinking of how smoothly things had gone until now, she felt it was a bit laughable to be so worried. She had already made her choice. She would leave everything to Long Chen. Suddenly, the lotus flowers exploded, and lightning rained down like sharp swords. The dragonblood warriors' bodies were blown apart, their flesh becoming a mangled mess. Even the dragonblood battle armor was unable to block this. Each drop of lightning was like a bomb. Lai Long returned to its dragon form, wanting to devour this lightning. This was something that it really wanted. Lai Long, go eat to the side. Leave the middle to the others, called out Long Chen. Although Lai Long didn't like it, it went to the edges to devour the leftover lightning. The center was for the dragonblood legion. Don't worry, now isn't the time for your meal. Let others eat first, comforted Long Chen. To everyone else, he shouted, this lightning contains divine energy, so protect your heads. Use it to nourish your astral spaces. Each drop of divine lightning was like a bomb, causing their flesh to explode. If it was someone else, a single drop would be enough to kill them. Despite how much physical damage the lightning was doing, it would always transform into incomparably pure lightning energy after striking their bodies. Even without having to do anything, their bodies' astral spaces would automatically absorb it. If they actually focused on absorbing it, then the energy of this divine lightning would surge toward them like a flood, filling their astral spaces and making them grow. 1 meter, 3 meters, 10 meters. The astral spaces were like tiny worlds. While they were the masters of those worlds, they could clearly sense some kind of energy form a connection with them from this world. As their astral spaces grew, that energy grew stronger. Although they were still unable to use that energy, they could sense that they were rapidly growing stronger. The larger their astral spaces, the stronger they grew. I want to get stronger. Gu Yang suddenly roared and spread his arms as if to embrace this world. He allowed the torrent of lightning to fall on him as he crazily absorbed the divine lightning. Be careful. Long Chen suddenly shouted and flicked a finger. A lightning arrow shot out, knocking aside a drop of the divine lightning that was about to strike Gu Yang's head. Fool, make sure to protect your vitals. Otherwise, you might die. Due to his excitement, 
Gu Yang had forgotten just how dangerous this divine lightning was. If this divine lightning shattered his skull, it might cause his Yuan spirit to dissipate. My bad, boss. Gu Yang blushed and properly protected his head. The majority of the Dragonblood warriors were able to endure this torrent of lightning. However, the healing experts were in a miserable state. They were wood cultivators, and despite also possessing the Dragonblood battle armor, their physical bodies were too weak. Each drop blasted bloody holes in their bodies. If three drops landed at the same time, they would be in danger of dying. They were carefully blocking with their wooden staves, doing their best to make sure the lightning landed on them one drop at a time. Fortunately, their recovery abilities were amazing. Guo Ran, are you trying to get your armor destroyed? Shouted Long Chen at Guo Ran, who had tried stealthily putting on his armor. Feeling like he was at his limit, he had summoned his armor to cheat, but as a result, two large holes appeared in his armor in an instant. But, what bots? As long as I'm present, you won't die. So hurry up and absorb the lightning, ordered Long Chen. Guo Ran felt helpless. Not even his armor could save him now. Each drop of the lightning was covering him in blood, breaking his bones. However, he actually acted tough and didn't make a sound. His previous attempt at showing off had ended up going so well that he wanted to prove to everyone that he had only been acting cowardly before. If he became weak now, it would indicate that he was actually cowardly, not acting. Time passed slowly. Long Chen stood in the sky. If anyone was in danger, he would immediately go save them. Long Chen didn't mind the lightning that struck his body. It was barely an inch. After being rebuilt by the Azure Dragon Essence Blood, Long Chen's body had reached an unimaginable level. Finally, after two hours had passed, the healing warriors were no longer able to endure. Coughing up blood, they had reached their limit. Chapter 1939 1939 Long Chen suddenly flew over to the healing warriors. A lightning spear appeared in his hand, and with a wave, he blew apart the lighting rain, turning it into lightning mist. Boss, I'll block the lightning rain for you. So absorb as much of the lightning mist as you can. This relates to your foundation in the future, said Long Chen. A person's astral space could continuously grow during this tribulation. But once the lightning tribulation vanished, their astral spaces would solidify. Their future advancements would increase the sizes of their astral spaces based on the size after the tribulation. Based on normal cultivation standards. Each Havenstage of the Life Star Realm would increase the size of the astral space by 30%. If a person's astral space was 30 miles wide after breaking through, it would be almost 40 after advancing to the first Havenstage. At the second Havenstage, it would once more grow by 30%. That was why the initial size of the astral space would decide how large it could grow in the future. This would greatly affect their power. This was their chance to get as strong as possible. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Guo Ran immediately came over, saying that he was helping when he was trying to escape his predicament. Long Chen couldn't be bothered anymore with this shameless fellow. What was to be feared was not someone who was willing to throw their life away, but someone who was shameless. Guo Ran was already unrivaled in that regard. Using the physical body to endure the lightning tribulation was a way to temper the will. As for using divine lightning, just how rare was that opportunity? But Guo Ran didn't cherish it in the slightest. However, Long Chen supposed that everyone had their own path. If anyone else is unable to endure it, you can come over, announced Long Chen. He needed to help the healing warriors right now and could no longer be looking after them. Fortunately, not everyone was like Guo Ran. They knew that this was an opportunity, a stroke of good fortune, a chance to get stronger. This opportunity was something that Long Chen had created for them. From the eastern wasteland, Long Chen had started training them, and the effects of the heavenly tribulation could not be neglected. They cherished this opportunity. They clenched their teeth and bitterly endured. They absorbed the divine lightning and used it to cleanse their bodies of impurities. Seeing the dragon blood warriors enduring through this divine lightning, one of the original devil races experts sighed. Who knows how difficult it was for the Dragonblood Legion to become the number one Legion of the Martial Heaven Continent? They had to have experienced something like this more than once. Their accomplishments are no coincidence. 
These children are truly ruthless. Being ruthless to oneself is better than being consumed by others. If you want to live with dignity, you have to pay more than others, said Yu Zihan. I wonder how large the astral space of the sacred daughter will become. There's no way to say. However, being expanded by divine lightning will definitely make it larger than ours. Yu Zihan smiled. Yu Ziaokian was her daughter and her pride, as well as the hope of the original devil race. Yu Ziaokian was standing at the front, enduring the most divine lightning. She was covered in blood, but there was a determined light in her eyes. Yu Ziaokian smiled proudly as well as sorrowfully. If this was a peaceful world, Yu Ziaokian would still be an innocent child living a carefree life. However, this world was not peaceful. The original devil race in particular was in a very precarious position. They might be destroyed at any moment. When Yu Ziaokian was young, she was very obedient and worked hard on her cultivation. Behind her growth and maturity was the fact that she had taken up a heavy burden at a young age. Yu Zivan felt sorry for her. Eventually, the tribulation clouds began to shudder and Yu Zivan sighed with relief. That indicated that the tribulation was coming to an end. Ziaokian, attack the tribulation again, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian didn't hesitate. A streak of sword chi tore through the sky. Suddenly, the clouds tore open, and a giant thunderbolt crashed down from that tier at Yu Ziaokian. Yu Ziaokian's hair stood on end as a sensation of death enveloped her. Boom! A lightning spear struck the giant thunderbolt, filling the air with blinding light. Long Chen now held a lightning spear, and after shattering the thunderbolt, lightning runes fell amongst the dragonblood warriors. The Dragonblood Warriors were delighted to find that these lightning runes were ten times larger than the previous ones and many times purer. Boss, this is amazing. Absorbing these lightning runes, they felt their astral spaces rapidly growing. They practically doubled in size. Their delight dumbfounded Yu Zivan and the others. Were they actually forcing the heavenly tribulation to stay behind? They had never seen such brazenness. The void continued to tear apart and the lightning transformed into giant spears that pierced down upon the Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen stood in the air, with the lightning spear and lightning wings, breaking apart the rain of lightning. The Azure Dragon power is truly amazing. It was worth risking my life for it. Long Chen was experiencing the immense power of the Azure Dragon. The same Paragon Arts were now even more terrifying with it. All of Lai Long's energy was concentrated within the spear and wings. As Lai Long absorbed more Thunder Force, its power also grew. The Dragonblood Warriors down below were crazy with joy as they absorbed the Lightning Runes. This was a completely safe, quick, and painless way of getting stronger. Being with Boss is a fucking blessing. Gu Yang felt like he might cry from joy. The feeling of his strength rapidly growing like this was amazing. Their astral spaces were growing rapidly as they absorbed the Lightning Runes. The most excited one was Yu Ziaokian. There had been a shadow left in her heart from almost dying during her tribulation in the immemorial path. However, she had now attacked the lightning tribulation repeatedly and didn't need to fear it. This was another reason why Long Chen had made her attack the tribulation. It was for her to overcome this heart devil. The lightning spears raining down from the sky were like the fury of the heavens, causing the world to shake. However, Long Chen had his own lightning spear that blocked all of them. Suddenly, one of the healing warriors coughed up a mouthful of blood. Cracks appeared all over her body in a horrifying fashion. She herself was also startled, not knowing what was going on. You've reached your limit. Go rest, and don't absorb any more thunder force, warned Long Chen. In the end, people had limits, and she had reached hers. In the next incense sticks worth of time. More and more Dragonblood warriors reached their limit. Some who still wanted to absorb more were shouted away by Long Chen. A limit was a limit. Any more and their bodies would explode. More and more Dragonblood warriors were forced to retreat. In the end, only the strongest experts were left. Menchi reached her limit first amongst the top experts. That was already a miracle. As a beast tamer, she hadn't expected to be able to last this long. Others also reached their limit right after her. The one to last the longest was Lu Ruian, but she also reached a limit. This tribulation had been a stunning success. The fury of the heavens was gradually fading. However, just at that moment, 
Long Chen suddenly soared into the clouds. Break. Long Chen replaced his lightning spear with Evil Moon. A pitch black saber image tore through heaven and earth. The giant tribulation clouds were split in two. Damnable heavens. How do you like it? Sneered Long Chen. Has he gone mad? Yu Zivan covered her mouth. Boom. The tribulation cloud suddenly merged back fiercely. Booming noises rang out as if the world was roaring. Suddenly, giant lightning beasts began flying out of the tribulation clouds. They were of various forms, but were all lifelike. Their power caused the world to shake as if the world couldn't contain their power. Long Chen formed hand seals, and Lai Long appeared behind him. However, suddenly Long Chen became startled as he noticed that Lai Long didn't want to cooperate with him. Lai Long, stop making a fuss. You can't eat that much anyway, said Long Chen. Surprisingly, Lai Long didn't want to open the spatial channel. It wanted to consume these lightning beasts itself, ignoring whether or not it could even absorb that much, that the tribulation was reaching its end. It would quickly dissipate, so it didn't have time to devour them. Although it was unwilling, Lai Long was very obedient. Its body spun through the air, forming a spatial channel. Giant lightning drakes came flying out of that channel. Upon seeing the powerful lightning beasts of the tribulation, their eyes turned red. Don't say that I'm not loyal. Today, I'll treat you to a feast. Laughed Long Chen. Chapter 1940. 1940 Brother Long. I knew that you wouldn't forget us. Those lightning drakes excitedly pounded upon the tribulation beasts. They were the lightning drakes of the lightning field and the strongest existences below the Silver Drake King. Back when Long Chen had come to an agreement with the Drake King, they had even helped him gain the Paragon Art. They had also helped him out immensely in the Yun Yang world. It just so happened that Long Chen could not repay them with this tribulation. These tribulation beasts contained divine lightning within them. That was the most precious type of energy to these lightning drakes. They crazily devoured them. Although these tribulation beasts were very powerful, they lacked intelligence. They only charged at Long Chen because Long Chen's attack just now had provoked the wrath of the heavens, causing the will of the tribulation to turn on him. These tribulation beasts only had one thought, and that was to kill Long Chen. They ignored the lightning drakes until the lightning drakes had already coiled around them. By then, they would just be devoured easily. Lai Long, lend me 90% of your energy and send 10% to devour the lightning runes. After saying that, Long Chen raised Evil Moon. Lightning surged along Evil Moon as he slashed it toward a tribulation beast. The divine power of Lai Long and Evil Moon combined. The tribulation beast was blown apart into divine lightning runes and then devoured by Lai Long. Before Lai Long was even finished devouring those runes, Long Chen had moved on to the second. With Lai Long and Evil Moon working together, it was easy for them to kill the tribulation beasts. Brothers, hurry up. Time's almost up. Long Chen saw that the tribulation clouds were growing sparse. By this time, any further attacks against them would be useless. He had exhausted all the power of this tribulation. If it was just one person undergoing tribulation, then there would have been little chance for even the five-colored tribulation lightning to appear. The reason the tribulation had so much energy was because there were over 10,000 dragon blood warriors undergoing tribulation together. All the energy had now been forced out by Long Chen, and the energy of the heavens was fading. It could not punish Long Chen. The lightning drakes frantically devoured as much as they could. Sometimes, the tribulation beasts would be half devoured and still charge toward Long Chen while the lightning drakes moved on. It was easy for Long Chen to kill those stragglers. Only half of the tribulation beasts had been slain, but the tribulation was already starting to fade. The tribulation beasts began to return to heaven and earth. Suddenly, a silver claw stretched out of the channel, and a silver ripple spread, blowing apart those tribulation beasts. A large mouth then came out of the channel and devoured those lightning runes. The silver drake king had come. Long Chen. How could you not call me? The Silver Drake had attacked through the channel and taken the lightning runes. The channel that Long Chen had made this time was too small to fit it through though. What the? Why did you come? Long Chen was startled. Long Chen, you had best give me an explanation raged the Silver Drake King. It was speaking spiritually, so others couldn't hear. 
How could I possibly call you over something so tiny? This kind of snack shouldn't interest you. That's why I only invited your little brothers. And I'll invite you for the real feast later. Didn't you notice that this isn't even my own tribulation? It's the tribulation of my brothers. Only once I break through will there be a real feast. He, to tell the truth, I'm a bit worried that your stomach isn't big enough, said Long Chen. Are you telling the truth? Questioned the Silver Drake King. I disdain lying. Long Chen frowned. Cough. Then it was my mistake. Now it's a bit awkward, said the Silver Drake. It really is a bit awkward. This little bit is barely enough food to get stuck between your teeth. But it's a good piece of meat to your brothers. As the boss, you can't be selfish, said Long Chen. Then what do I do? The Silver Drake King didn't know what to do now. It would be a blow if it admitted it was stealing food from its brothers. Fine, I'll help you. However, you have to help me when I need it too. Long Chen didn't give the Drake King a chance to reply before announcing. How dangerous. Just now, the divine lightning beasts were about to fade away. But fortunately your king came to capture them in time. Quick, go back. Your dragon king is going to share the divine energy with you. Due to the dragon king attacking. The channel is about to reach its limit. I really envy you for having such a good boss. Long Chen seemed to sigh emotionally, giving a thumbs up. His words were very brilliant. The drakes naturally had no idea if they were true or false. They immediately became grateful to the drake king. Many thanks. The drake king expressed its thanks to Long Chen before leaving as well. His conning ability was unrivaled and had given it face. The tribulation disappeared and the lightning channel faded. All the energy of the tribulation had been spent, and the Dragon Blood Legion's people had absorbed as much as they could for a perfect advancement. Quite a few corpses were floating on the surface of the sea now that the tribulation was over. Those corpses belonged to the sea demons that had been near. Due to the Dragon Blood Legion's tribulation descending suddenly, some of the weaker ones hadn't had time to flee. Let's go. Long Chen waved his hand and everyone went over to the spatial channel that Yu Zivan had already summoned. They returned to the skyscraping world. All of them were excited enough to shout. Most life star experts only had astral spaces around a hundred miles wide at the start. Even rank 9 celestials would only have around 300 miles. The astral space contained one's world energy, but usually those below rank 9 celestials were not qualified to actually use their world energy. That was why the Dragonblood Warriors were able to easily slay Life Star Experts while in the Soul Transformation Realm. Those Life Star Experts were usually only around the level of rank 7 or 8 Celestials. Those Experts had not managed to catch the Great Era, and their cultivation bases had reached their limits. So those Life Star Experts were not able to compare to today's Heavenly Geniuses. As for the Empyreans who were called Heavenly Geniuses. Their astral spaces would normally be around 3,000 miles. Only at that level was it possible to bring out the full potential of the world energy in their astral spaces. In the Yun Yang world, the army of life star Empyreans that had charged over was so powerful because they were able to control a bit of their world energy. However, since they had only recently advanced, they could only control a bit of it. This was why Huo Lian was so terrifying in comparison. His realm had already stabilized at the first heaven stage of life star, allowing him to control his world energy. If Long Chen hadn't obtained the Azure Dragon Reverse Scale, he would have been crushed. No one knew how large Huo Lian's astral space was, but right now, even the weakest healing warrior had reached an astral space of 30,000 miles. The Dragon Blood Warriors had all achieved astral spaces over 100,000 miles with some reaching 150,000 miles. As for Gu Yang and the captains, they had astral spaces 300,000 miles wide. However, one person was so monstrous that their astral space was almost 1 million miles wide. That was Yu Ziaokian. When that news spread, the original devil race was overjoyed. Gu Yang and the others were a bit upset by this immense difference. But Yu Zivan explained that it was due to the special cultivation technique of the original devil race. It had nothing to do with talent. The one to benefit the most from this tribulation was Yu Ziaokian. She even had a deeper understanding of the profound spirit Tao scripture after experiencing this tribulation. 
Many areas that she hadn't understood were now clear to her. Long Chen told everyone not to care too much about the size of their astral spaces. That was just a portion of the power of the life star realm. There was something even more important, which was awakening their manifestations. Only upon reaching the life star realm was it possible to awaken their manifestations. However, that would require comprehension and luck. The tribulation had ended. So Yu Zivan found a secluded place for them to enter seclusion. They had to stabilize their realm first. Long Chen also didn't blaze around. He went to the ancestral land of the original devil race and took out a mountain of medicinal pills. Opening his mouth, he activated the divine ability swallow the heavens, devour the earth. Those pills were like a flood entering his stomach. Runes lit up on his stomach, forming a foundation. This was the divine ability of the dark evil dragon race. Huo Long had been refining pills constantly, giving Long Chen a giant stockpile. Now, it was time to use it. Let's see what heaven stage I can reach now. Rumbling sounds rang out within Long Chen's stomach, like a volcano was erupting. Endless energy flowed through him.